The Gillette Home Run Derby is presented by Gillette Center XL and the Gillette Series. Gillette, the best a man can get. Welcome to Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. It debuted in April of 1971. This is the second All-Star game here. And the 10 sluggers are ready to do battle here in our home run derby. An impressive sight that is. Of course, the Veterans Field, Joe, one of the cookie cutter ballparks like Cincinnati, like Pittsburgh, like St. Louis that were built in the early 70s. And it's, well, the dimensions are the same down each line. 330 down the line, 371 to, to straight away and dead center is 408 and it's hot and the ball should travel well but I think this ballpark is different than the ones you mentioned in that the ball travels better here than it does in St. Louis better than it does in Pittsburgh and also better than it does in Cincinnati I think this is probably the best hitting ballpark as far as home run hitters of the cookie cutter of ballpark. Those cookie cutters and yeah. if anybody that sign is in dead center field uh, if anybody hits above that pinnacle sign a fan will win a million dollars now that would be a poke um, of the Luzinski Mike Schmidt variety but we have guys that certainly can do that by the way you saw the weather 90 degrees I don't think it feels a, uh, one degree over 115 John. <laughs> I'm on my eighth shirt right, right about there about high there well go. this is Joe Carter who got in uh, to the competition because Frank Thomas with the bad toe I'll take one Joe was does, uh, yeah. very friendly booed lustily by Phillies fans who certainly remember his home run game six Sky Dome ninth inning Blue Jays win the 93 World Series so the fans here in Philadelphia never shy to boo <laughs> certainly let Joe remember they're probably thinking why didn't he do this on that last at That's bat right. he's popped the first two up gives this one a ride to center but it will fall way, way short remember every swing in a non home run is an out doesn't matter if it went foul 500 feet <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's a Baltimore chop off the plate. Joe wants Mitch. Joe wants <laughs> and there's the Joe wants Mitch here that Joe heard. <laughs> Boy, they are tough to Mitch Williams here. They huh? are, and Mitch is back. Mitch is coming back. So five outs and yet a home run for Joe Carter. We just found out a short while ago he was in it. This one has a chance. But no. It's not even warning track power, barely. That's it to center field. Back it goes. Almost. The last thing these guys want to do is not hit a home run, as Mike Piazza did twice. Two years in a row we saw that from Mike. In fact, Mike Piazza probably declined the offer this year to participate. That one's ripped. Will it stay fair? No. Foul ball. So the Philly fans are loving this. They're getting their revenge on Joe Carter. They're cheering to retire him over. <laughs> About three years too late. <laughs> That's a good comment. There you there go. There it goes. The first one. Back, 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 back. Gone. I want to get one on the board myself. I got you. <laughs> You'll have plenty of yeah, opportunities. Two hours worth though. of backs. Yeah. I almost shut her to think. That's it. This one has a chance. This is way back in left center. Gone. So maybe this is the bottom of the ninth for Joe. Oh, that's it. But he does put a two spot on the board. So Joe Carter close to a zero, but then gave a couple of ride. And you know what? The Philly fans forgive the game. Oh, yeah. The you know, Joe Carter hit his 20th home run on Sunday, and that means he's hit 20 home runs or more for 11 consecutive years. It's tough out there going first, huh? It is tough being a leadoff hitter, Joe. Something that Joe is not exactly used to, being a leadoff hitter. On ESPN 2 tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific, the AAA All-Star game. Sure to ESPN 2 to see baseball stars of tomorrow. So you definitely want to watch this because some of the names that you'll hear from in late July and August and certainly September will be front and center in this. Let's go down to Buck Martinez, who's uh, with Joe Carter. Tell them off, Buck. Well, Joe, these fans are still tough on you. They got a long memory, don't they? Yeah, they, they, they do, Buck. I mean, they, I finally hit one foul and they cheered, but uh, 
I told him it was about three years too late. But it is, I, mean, I tell you what, it's, it's tough up there. I'm not a home run hitter in BP, only in the games. Well, you're not a leadoff hitter either. You're a little nervous up there? I, yeah, I know. I mean, all these fans here, you got all the, the both teams here. You're sitting there going, they call me first. I'm like, oh, my God, not first. You know, I can go second or third. But to, to go out there and sit the standard, I guess I got two. So it's going to last probably about three swings. <laughs> all right, let's go back to Chris Berman. Certainly, Joe Carter, always one of the more ebullient players, always in a good mood. Great, great personality. This uh, young man at the plate, Ellis Burks, right with a little different personality, but just as nice a fellow. Ellis with the Colorado Rockies has 22 home runs this year, and that already is a career best. His career best was 21 with the Red Sox in 1990. Well, the difference between the two, Joe is a little more outgoing. Ellis is quieter. Ellis said he was going to try to go to right center field because the ball travels better that way, and you can see him taking a shot that way. Oh, go! <laughs> but you can't get jammed, Ellis. <laughs> so, uh, how many outs is that? Three outs for Ellis. Damn. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> And this is fun for all the other All-Stars watching these guys, isn't it, Joe? Yes, it's fun. But you know, remember one thing when this is your first All-Star home run hitting contest, the first thing you want to do is make sure you don't get shut out. As we talked about Mike Piazza, happened to him two years in a row. So a lot of these guys are really nervous at the beginning. That ain't going to go. Almost a one-hopper is good in the games, not in this. But you can see he's definitely taking aim towards right field. And that's unusual for a guy that's in a home run hitting contest. Who was it last year that sent a bunch of them out there? This one is slot. Back, 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 back. Gone. And Ellis Burks is on the board. <laughs> Ellis in its 10th season. I think it sometimes you fall I mean, into seven? good teams. But other times, I think you have a bit to do with it. I mean, already he's been to the postseason four times with three different teams. So it has a chance. Oh, missed it by that much. Maybe they think maybe we should start counting off the walls to break the ties. Right. Well, this is doesn't matter if it's out of play or in play. It's an out as we score it. It's a scorcher here at Philadelphia. So you would think that if you get it, the ball will travel. Actually, some oh. scientists. Damn. And information to prove that the ball actually does not travel be better when it's human. Yeah, it's really weird. It's that the ball does not travel any better. We all think it does, but I think the players believe that because you're looser, you feel better, and you swing harder. Damn. Well, for Ellis Burks, only one, and everyone will you say, well, it's not the that. rarefied air of Coors Field in Denver, but it's tough to get him out of there. Carter had two, Burks is one. Jay Buhner next. Basketball fans, you can't beat this. The Chicago Bulls are the best ever. Enjoy all the record-breaking excitement in this thrill-packed video. The Chicago Bulls 1996 NBA Champions, plus this limited edition SI Commemorative. Both are free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Your free video lets you run with the Bulls as they rewrite the record books with a flourish and style all their own. Plus, this leather-bound, gold-embossed, individually numbered SI Collector's Edition is a championship memento you'll treasure forever. Get this exclusive Bulls Collector's Package free when you order 54 issues of SI for only $1.48 an issue. Save over 55% off the cover price. Use your credit card. Call now to get the unbeatable Bulls Championship Pack free from SI. A sports experience like no other. Sports Illustrated. Get into it. on the senior tour? Not as often as the regular tour. On the senior tour, I hear more golly gee willikers. Really? Why do you suppose that is? Well, I think it's because Judgment Day is coming up a little sooner for the senior guys, and 
They're choosing their words a bit more carefully. Have you ever lost your temper playing golf? One time. Yes. One time. I do put it. I almost used Bobby Jones's name in vain, but I pulled it together. I'm God. We are back at Vet Stadium in Philadelphia, and uh, there's our scoreboard. But of course, we have five for each league. And in the top four, regardless of league, we'll go on to the second round. Everybody gets 10 outs in the first and the second round. Auto racing fans, don't forget to tune to ESPN 2 weeknights at 7 Eastern, 4 in the Pacific, 1 in Hawaii for RPM Tonight. Television's first daily program devoted exclusively to the world of racing. RPM Tonight, weeknights at 7 Eastern on ESPN 2. Ooh. Here's a guy who can draft some balls. Jay Ferris Funer. No day off for him. Following up his 95 season in which he hit 40 home runs and set a Mariner record with RBIs with a 121. Buhner with 23. And this is his first All-Star game. It's taken him a long time to get here, and I have a feeling he'll be here again, Joe, with the way he hits and the way he plays defense. Well, he is definitely a slugger of the highest order here. I mean, he drives the ball to right center field, and he plays in the perfect ballpark for him. going to right center field. Will this one have the legs? Back, 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 back. Almost. Well, the way the fielder was looking up at the ball, I thought that was going to go. I got to get used to this park myself, Joe. Going to waste those bats. There's a quarter right. on those. Hey, no, 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 no. You got a few of them. I won't charge you for it. Okay, okay. let's go ahead. Okay. Oh, there's no question about this. This, you can go back, 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 back. Second deck off the hands of a fan in the luxury box. Oh, tattooed to left. Gone. I only had time for two backs. I thought that was a back back gone. Yeah, he may play in the kingdom, but I mean, that's not why he had 40 home runs last year, Joe. He hit them a lot of places. He is oh. gone. Ole for number three for Buhner. So here's a guy in his first all-star home run competition. He's not worried about it. But it's got to go. Buhner has a natural swing. He doesn't have to change anything. He has an automatic lift in his swing. I like the music they're playing here was Alzo's Brach Zarathustra, better known as the theme from 2001. Oh, a line shot that's gone. I told you this was a good hitting ballpark. So Buter with four. Can this one have the mustard to center field? Oh man, a double dog. I <laughs> gave foul one off of his foot there. Starts with that open stance, not quite like Galarraga, but closes it in a hurry, doesn't he? Fans here becoming Jay Buhner fans. He really is liked wherever he goes in the American League. The fans like it, the youngsters like the buzz cut, his whole attitude, the glasses, the power, of course, the way he can throw from the right field wall. Well, you're not going to mistake him for anyone else. When you look at it, take his hat off. That's true. That's a perfect shot right there. Yeah. Of course, the opening round is the only uh, time we'll have league competition. It's AL leading 7-1. They've won the last five years. You said it was hot out there, but he has a sweat jacket on. He's tough. He and Mo Vaughn wear the jackets to 100 degrees, I think. Jeff Bagwell waiting for his turn for the National League. You're going to see a pattern developing here. When the American League guys come to the plate, well, I can't say all of them now with Frank Thomas sideline. But I mean, Jay Buhner's a big guy. Mark McGuire is a real big guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of the national leaders, Bagwell, Rodriguez, even Barry Bonds, not that big. Got a shot. Can this go out to right field opposite way? Gone. Six home runs with one out left. Oh, is this stay fair? Just foul into the third tier. But Jay Buhner with a six-pack. 
Let's join Buck Martinez with Jay. Buck. Jay, the ball seems to be jumping a bit today, huh? <laughs> I never got a chance to get any sleep, so I didn't get a chance to get tight. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, if you can't get loose out here, you'll never get loose. It's plenty human. What about the uh, sign in center field? You weren't that far away from that million-dollar sign. Well, I think we got another round, don't we, or so? Hopefully, and uh, we'll see what happens. That was getting myself loose. And it's good to get the first swing, get one out right away, and I think that made that was the biggest key for me. Good first round. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go back to Chris Berman now. All right, Buck, thank you. When we return, Jeff Bagwell and the rest will be shooting at Jay Buter's sixth spot. Presenting Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. A clear, clean gel that goes on smoothly with no white residue. For powerful all-day protection, Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. Uh, we'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why spread satin is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. Glidden, a better way to paint. Got a car, but need a new engine? Come to Pep Boys for over 1,200 quality engines, car or light truck, import or domestic, all with a 12-month unlimited mileage warranty. And you can charge it on your Pep Boys credit card. Pep Boys, everything but gas. You, you, and you have the right to play sports until the cows come home. You have the right to assemble. You have the right to be equipped. You have the right to free speech. But anything you say can be held against you. That's life. Liberty. And the pursuit of the goal. But you don't have the right to remain thirsty. Not when there's Gatorade. Because every athlete has the right to be quenched. These are your rights. Now get out there and exercise them. Life is a sport. Drink it up. July for 600 years the world finds out who's faster than a speeding bull and who's not the running of the bulls live from Pamplona Spain Friday night at 1 30 a.m. only on ESPN 2 we're back at a steamy vet stadium in Philadelphia where Jay Buter steamed his six spot to all parts of the ballpark and now Jeff Bagwell will be the uh, the next batter the American League leads at eight to one but I just think uh, in the history of the home run derby a very storied history that it is Joe it actually started this thing in, in 85 in this form I've had some great years in the American League you can see is pretty much what they got bigger guys I mean here's one of the most prolific hitters in the National League if not the most and, and I mean, Jeff Bagwell's not he's six feet 195 but he packs a punch, literally, from well, Killingworth, Connecticut. The American League players are built for three-run homers in the American League ballparks. National League players are a little more streamlined because they do, a, most of them are good players as well, and they run the bases, and they do a few more things than the American League players do. Well, when the Astros made a trade at the end of the uh, August of 1990 and sent Larry Anderson to Boston, for a double A player who had four home runs with the New Britain Red Sox. They were hoping he'd turn into something. Andy, a good relief pitcher, helped the Red Sox get to the postseason that year where they lost to Oakland in the ALCS. The young player that they got was Jeff Bagwell. I think Houston made a pretty good trade, Joe. No doubt about it, but no one ever figured he was hit for the power that he has hit. Most people felt like he would lead the league in hitting. They thought he would have a high average, but not the RBIs and the home run power that he has shown. He's been oft injured because he stands so close to the plate. He's injured that hand bone. Got to get the head out. Three straight years. He's got a glove that he wears to protect his hand now. There you go. Well, there's nothing going to protect that one, Joe. It's an upper decker. Jeff Brown, paper bagwell, number one from his teammate Craig Biggio. Here we go. Rip, will this have enough legs? Ball had hair on it, but it's not a home run. Oh. 
Bagwell competed a couple of years ago had three in the Three Rivers game. Just missed that one. It's only one home run with just four outs to go. The homer 416 feet, by the way. The longest, Joe Carter had the longest thus far, 433. Buners were 426 and 423. The well, Buners, the dead center down the uh, uh, down the portal, seemed farther than that. Three outs to go. One home run. Three outs to go. You hear the PA voice, longtime Philadelphia voice, Harry Callos. That one is gone. Two homers for Jeff Brown, Paper Bagwell. You, I know you like the way he plays, Joe. I would yes. imagine you would. Uh, I like the way he plays. I like his attitude. He's, he's a great player. I mean, he's developing and he's getting better all the time. But he is a real, true RBI man. I think that's what separates him from a lot of the other players. They're just sluggers, but he is an RBI man. At 116 in the strike short year, he was hurt at that point anyway. We're in the National League RBI Championship and MVP that year. Oh, tattooed the bottom of the wall. So for Bagwell, just a pair. Well, he did hit two, and this one was his longest. I mean, this one went into the upper deck. That's the Bagwell that we're used to seeing, getting the barrel out and to opening his hips and driving through the ball. And I mean, this one had a lot of loft on it. That's the big fly. We've seen the first four. We've got six more sluggers. When we return to the vet, who will move on to round number two? Foot action. To me, foot action's a dance. And this is my dance floor. Hit it. It's much harder with a partner. Put actions where to get feelish shoes you wear when you're doing whatever. So, you want to dance? For every action, there's foot action. You can use one of these for an antenna, but there's no way you'll get the best results. Same thing goes for buying the wrong muffler. Unlike discount muffler shops, the auto systems experts at Midas give you a muffler that's made to fit your car, one with our famous guarantee. They know your muffler is a critical part of your exhaust system, and the wrong one can reduce engine performance. You do want it to perform, don't you? Midas auto systems experts, what can we do for you today? We were different. I was from Queens. He was from Illinois. He was a Republican. I was a Democrat. But it didn't matter. Because what we shared was a love of baseball. And that huge government check he received every month. We are back at the vet. Eight home runs for the uh, American League, three home runs for the National League. Chris Berman, Joe Morgan, Buck Martinez. And our uh, aerial shots today provided by the Bud One Airship. I've actually been up in that thing, Joe. You have? Yes, I have. Not driving it. Oh, OK, flying. good. I'm glad you weren't driving. And there's our uh, director, Mark Payton, with a good view from <laughs> the outfield <laughs> with his ever-present butterfly net. And here's a young man. I hope he has butterflies. Greg Vaughn coming off a couple of injury uh, laden seasons. And what a year he's had for the Brewers who just produced run after run after run. The other Vaughn, Greg Vaughn, who has 24 home runs at the break. We're up in Sacramento. Played ball at University of Miami, number one pick for the Brewers in 86. Rotator cuff injury, and he just put his, he's been quiet. He's complained about the injury, and he's come back in a big way to make the all-star team. And he's playing on a good offensive ball club. The Brewers have a good offensive team. They score a lot of runs. So, so Vaughn trying to find a group. Oh, 
Let's go down to Buck Martinez with some Tampa guys. I know I got to hit a bad word. <laughs> Freddie, you're laughing at Greg Vaughn out there. What's going on? You know this is tough. Tough, but it's amazing that these guys are falling off pitches back and getting jammed and so forth. I'm having a great time. This is very tough. I'm trying to get Sheffield right because he's representing Tampa and you got to go there and put a good show. But I keep telling him that he can't go wrong because Ellis hit one and Bagwell hit two. So Sheffield can't go wrong. <laughs> good advice, Gary? Yeah, very good advice. Keep the show at the end. Think sooner, Phil, and you'll hit it out in left field. All right, let's go back upstairs. All right, Buck, thank you. Boy, it's hard to imagine Fred McGriff not in this thing. I mean, You're right. uh, the crime dog when you think of home runs. As Greg Vaughn is uh, it's just a center field. Just a word on, on Fred McGriff. He's one of four guys this year who hit their 300th lifetime home run. So our congratulations certainly to the crime dog. You'll see two others, Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire. Gary Gaetti also did it. I also want to say this. When I think of All-Star game, as there's Barry looking on, to me, one of the most memorable moments in recent history, post bench Fossey All Star, was McGriff's home run two years ago off Lee Smith. Yes. Except because the strike came next the next month, nobody talks about that. It was the '94 All Star. Game. You're right. That was a very dramatic home run, and it's the stuff that All Star legends are made of, like Reggie Jackson hitting the ball. Yep on the roof in Detroit in 71. Greg Vaughn gives this a ride, but warning track power. Now, poor Greg, he had his shot, and it's tough getting loose enough, and obviously Greg couldn't get off the schneid. There'll be better days for him, maybe tomorrow night. When we return, some Bay Area players who can pack them. Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, you want to stick around for that. Presenting Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. A clear, clean gel that goes on smoothly with no white residue. For powerful all-day protection, Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. Introducing the Michelin X1 with a six-year unlimited mileage tread life warranty. It has better wet traction than any rain tire, plus Michelin control in any driving condition. Because you don't just cover a lot of miles, you cover a lot of weather. This is about the virtual office, about breaking the chains, stretching the boundaries, and making the world your workplace, about taking your business everywhere and anywhere, about paging, laptops, cell phones, the internet, and conferencing. And it's not conversation or speculation. This is about how one company can give you the help, hardware, and software to make your virtual office a reality. This is about how far you can go once you know how. Network MCI, that's how. The shoe that started it all is back in ball. Introducing the new All Star for the next All Star. sandwich with thick slices of delicious grilled Texas toast, you have two choices. A new Texas toast bacon cheeseburger and a Texas toast breakfast sandwich. And if you want to find them, you have only one choice. Hardee's. Are you going to eat the pickle? Back at the vet, Chris Berman, Joe Morgan, Buck Martinez. We are halfway through round number one, the top four. No matter what league you're in in advance, so Jay Buhner is certainly in good shape. Barry Bonds coming up next. Our next Sunday night game of the week does the rivalry get any better than this? The Dodgers and the Giants. The Giants need to pick it up and play somebody other than San Diego. They're going to start with four games with the Dodgers. And Mike Piazza, boy, what a season he is putting together for the Dodgers. That's 8 Eastern, 5 on the West Coast, our Sunday night game of the week. Is that Thorny with you, that one, Joe? Yeah, Gary Thorne's going to be there. And Barry Bonds is going to be there. And Mike Piazza is going to be there. Eric, Eric Carroll's. Matt Williams is not going to be here, but he'll be there next yep. Sunday. Well, here is Barry Bonds, and you know, there's some big name guys that aren't in this for various reasons. Barry gets a bad rap, but he says, I want to do it, although I don't like I had their game this week. He says, I don't really like home run contests. It's hard for me to get going, but I'm, I'm anxious to play it. 
not only that, he's anxious to play in the All-Star game itself, and there are a lot of other players who are not. In defense of Frank Thomas, he would have loved to be in it. He's not even sure he can play in the game. So, I mean, I'm not saying a legitimate injury, but people jump on Barry Bonds' case the way he just jumped on that pitch. God! Well, let's say this. Barry, one of those four that hit the 300 mark this year. He's only the fourth player to have 300 homers and 300 stolen bases. His dad, <laughs> Willie Mays, and the Hawk, Andre Dawson. And he is very serious, as I spent some time with him this week, Joe. Very serious about making a run at 500 home runs. I mean, that's a long way off. Barry's one of the few players that does have a sense of history, though, that he knows what he wants to accomplish. He knows what numbers he wants to end up with. Gets under this one. Back it goes to right. Back, back, back. Oh, just missed. It was a moon ball. But you're right. A lot of players in this day and age with the money don't think about playing that long. Exactly. He said he told me two different occasions. I want to be around to get 500 homers. He also has a shot at 40 40 this year. He's already halfway home. And this is a bad year for him, by the way. Yeah, and I tell you, bad year. I'll tell you one other thing he wants. He wants that fourth MVP award. Now the Giants got to get going for him to get consideration on that. Three MVPs in a four-year span. This to center field and just misses. His home run went 422 feet, but we have six outs here. Seven outs. Mary needs to get his lead going here. Yeah, take a few pitches in this thing. Well, I think you should. If, with six. if you get into a rut of popping up or grounding out, you should start to take a couple of pitches. You're right. No, just missed that one. That'll be out number eight. Well, the reason I believe Mark McGuire should be the favorite, along with Sheffield and, and of course, Jay Buhner. Oh, that's right. That one looks like it's gone, Joe. Yes, sir. Number two for Barry Bonds. Go ahead. But Barry, and like some, Barry, some of the other guys have to change their swings to elevate and hit the ball out of the ballpark. Not only that, he just broke his bat on a home run. Maybe, <laughs> maybe these balls are juiced. You know what I mean? That's unbelievable. It is. You know what? I, I look at Barry, and you know he chokes. It doesn't look yeah. like there's that much bat area to get on the ball. I mean, he, he chokes up like a like Matty Alou like used to do, hitter, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, but I think everyone should choke up. I mean, the greatest hitter who ever lived, Ted Williams, choked up on the bat. So I don't I don't see where that's a problem. This one is slugged down the line. Does it stay fair? Back, 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 back. for Barry Bonds. And that ought to put him in uh, not great shape, but you now he's ahead of everybody but Buhner for the next round. This is a line shot to right center field. God! That kept going! Over the Wiz kid's side. Barry is more of a line drive home run hitter anyway rather than a high fly ball hitter. So see now he's taking a couple pitches and it slowed him down, Joe. Little heads up. He says he doesn't do well, but in, in Baltimore three years ago he had five. Uh, and here he is with four. That's it, but not until Barry puts up a four spot, one in which he broke his back. Well, Barry is currently in second position. This was his longest. It looked like it might hook foul, but he got enough extension on it. Just kept it right there. And it hits well up on the second deck. 422 and 417 is longest. Well, the word longest and Mark McGuire, they're synonymous. We'll see. See if he lets the big dog eat when we return. Great sports sites. The number one sports site on the net. ESPN Net Sports Zone. Your gateway to the game. Intelligent. Interactive. 
instantaneous. The number one sports site on the net. Plug your brain into the zone. What's the right grip feel like? Should you use the same club on every chip shot? The answers are in Golf Digest. No matter how well you play, you'll find tips and advice that will dramatically improve your game. Guaranteed. Want to know where the slot is at the top of your backswing? Or if you're good enough to carry a four iron? Subscribe to Golf Digest. Twelve issues are only $19.77. You'll also get our video. Hit it longer and straighter. Free. Call 800-228-1500. That's 800-228-1500. Back at the bat in Philadelphia, Barry Bonds' four home runs has pulled the National League to within one, with two batters left for each, and uh, may have put him into the next round. Mark McGuire, 92. What he did in San Diego at the Merck, he just distanced everybody. These are 12 home runs, Joe. And you know, none of these were just bleeders over the fence. <laughs> well, I don't think he can hit a bleeder. Mark McGuire, I mean, his swing is built for hitting home runs. He has a perfect lift on his swing, uppercut, and he can really drive the ball. He's, plus, he's very strong. Mark McGuire, despite missing a bunch of games this year, including the 68s played in Las Vegas, where I could go deep. You know, McGuire has 28 home runs, and he's on a pace this year. <laughs> oh, it didn't go. Didn't get it up enough, just a line drive. That's unusual for him. Not that he doesn't hit line drives. No, he usually hits yeah, huge he's... moon balls, as we call it. But he's on a pace this year, Joe, to have the best home run per at bat ratio in the history of the game. It's under eight. It's 7.4 going into the last weekend, so I don't know what the final total is. And last year, he hit out every 8.1 at bat, which was the best single season ever. Just misses again. McGuire with three quick outs. Oh, that's a quick out. As in, out of the yard. Well, that's the longest so far. Yes. That's the third deck. Uh-oh. You can hit him. 459 feet, the last one, Joe. When he came up in 1987, had 33 home runs at the break. He won the Rookie of the Year, ended up with 49. The All-Star game was in Oakland. It was a storybook uh, season for him. And we started calling him Mark Eve of Destruction McGuire. Now, that's a real reach in my nickname department. But A, it's what he does with the balls. That's it. Like that. And this is hit a mile. Bird back. Here's a shot at the sign. Oh! Just missed the sign. A million dollars line out there in center field. What I was going to say is Mark Eve of Destruction McGuire, that was a big song for the 60s by Barry McGuire. And he said he was born that year. I went, oh, well, guess you don't know the song, but that's what you do to the ball. So he liked it. I'll accept that. All right, right. He likes it, <laughs> we like it. Eve of Destruction. Ah! Looks like he just missed that. How many outs? How many outs is that? McGuire with three home runs <laughs> and six outs. Jay Buter, your leader in the clubhouse with six. But he had an early tea time. Yeah, he did. The leaders are still on the course, Joe. <laughs> oh! Back, 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 back. Gone! Another upper decker. Three 
three more for Mark McGuire. The longest one ever hit, and we'll show you some of these later, was Pop Stargell in this park, estimated at 488. That's in right field. <coughs> McGuire's home runs, 460, 459, and 440. What we're trying to tell you is not only are they out of this park, they'd be out of Yellowstone yeah. Park. Uh, missed that one. Until, the, you know, the, this season, Oakland was not a home run hitter's ballpark. They just, because of the construction, the ball carries better there now. It blocks some of the wind, but he's been hitting all these home runs in Oakland in a poor home run hitter's ballpark the last few years. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed that tour and last week in the Hotel California, but I... I will say that the construction ah. workers stop everything when you yes, come they out do. Of <laughs> <laughs> so Mark McGuire with four home runs. So the Bay Area is a standoff. Bonds and McGuire for each. And uh, are we going down to what? Let's let. That's all right. Let's look at this, Joe. Look at these tattoo marks. Well, this one, the pinnacle sign, straightaway center field where Greg Luzinski hit it. If Mark hits it, he would win someone a million dollars. He's about 15 feet short there. And this is the one he hit in the upper deck. This one went into the third deck in left field. Mark McGuire putting on a long distance show. Brady Anderson and Henry Rodriguez, Gary Sheffield coming up. You're not going to go home and leave this half finished, are you? I got six days, Dad. We'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why Spread House paint is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. I guess you'll be going back early, then. I thought I might stick around for a few days. All right. Glidden, a better way to paint. But don't expect me to cook for you. <laughs> it's an engine protection breakthrough. New Lubricator 2001 Super Engine Treatment. In independent lab tests, Lubricator 2001 prevented engine metal wear 30% better than Slick 50 and two times better than Duralube. Lubricator 2001 contains a revolutionary synthetic friction modifier, XL17, which bonds to critical engine parts to reduce metal wear like no petroleum product. Get the one that beats Slick 50 and Duralube. Lubricator 2001 Super Engine Treatment. Ever wonder what makes Ken Griffey Jr. so sweet? I feel a lot of love in the park today. It's his honey frosted Wheaties, frosted flakes with a grand slam taste. You know, you should smell more. Honey frosted Wheaties, it's sweet energy. Introducing the Michelin X1 with a six year unlimited mileage tread life warranty. It gives you better wet traction than any rain tire, plus control in any driving condition. After all, it hasn't rained that much in years. The best of the Olympic trials. A look back at the greatest triumphs and most memorable moments. The U.S. Olympic trials. Call to glory. Highlights continue with swimming, diving, and boxing tomorrow at 9 on ESPN. We are back at the vet in Philadelphia where... Jay Buhner has already clinched his spot in the next round. Only three hitters left, Henry Rodriguez, Brady Anderson, and Gary Sheffield. And afterwards, the all-star celebrity softball. That's about 10.30 Eastern time. Bill Cosby, Rob Schneider, the team featuring celebrities. Meatloaf was on the hill in that game. The Loaf? The Loaf was on the hill. So were some former major leaguers like Jim Palmer. He was pitching, he was playing too, and Keith Hernandez. So it's a mix of baseball, et cetera. That's coming up next. And if you were to take an unlikely A All-Star, B participant in the home run derby, maybe one of the most unlikeliest All-Stars from looking at the rosters in March, Joe, would be this man, yes. Henri Rodriguez from the Montreal Expo. Yes, I mean, no one gave him a chance to be in the All-Star game, let alone to hit as oh. many home runs as he did so far. But look at this. One swing. Oh, a second deck job. Somebody threw an old Henry out there. <laughs> One of his teammates. Oh, that's a Kenny Lawson. <laughs> well, he has 25 home runs this year, and he only had 21 in his career going into the season. 
That one was 437 feet, by the way. He was one of the many players traded for Roberto Kelly. This one is foul. Expos got him from the Dodgers in May of last year. Roberto Kelly and Joey Aisha. And oh, wait, a little bit more. he's become a hero in Montreal. They love him. Showering the field with the O'Henry bars. Yeah, a little bit more. You know, the Expos, there must be something about the French cooking up there because they just, <laughs> oh. whether they're unknown players or youngsters out of the farm system, that one just missed. They again are contenders. Well, I, I tell you what, you have to give all the credit to Philippe Alou. I mean, he knows how to handle young players and Woo. inexperienced players. And I mean, he's proven that, and they continue to play well, even though they change rosters every couple of years. And how about the train coming through the farm system, coming up from Double-A through Ottawa, Harrisburg, and Ottawa. I mean, that's, that's been some of the best runs to the major league in the last eight to ten years, I would say, even though a lot of players don't stay there. <laughs> we can do back, back, back in French. <laughs> Two homers for Henri. That one was 406. Ah. This one will miss. Let's go down to Buck Martinez. Barry, you were the one with the O. Henry bar. You've seen this guy get hot. You waiting for one of those hot streaks? Oh yeah, he can. He can hit him, uh, you know, with frequency, and uh, that's what Ooh. we're waiting on here. Now we're down a couple of home runs, so we need to pick it up a little bit right here. Well, he's the guy you got to look to, don't you? If the National League's going to get back in this thing. Well, you know, we got, uh, we got, I think we got Sheffield sit, still sitting over there, so we still got a little thrust for these American leaguers. You know, they think they got this one, but not by any stretch of the imagination. All right, let's go back to Chris. All right, Buck, thank you. That, of course, Barry Larkin, the fine player of the Cincinnati Red shortstop, and now you know, with Ozzie retiring, of course, he starts, but that will be his position for years in the All-Star game. Here's the scoreboard, 12-9. Seven outs for Monsieur Rodriguez. And they're joining us in the booth, a, a friend who, who learned to speak a little French. Standing by Gary Carter, the receiver. It's melted, isn't it? Oh, it's not. He'd eat those old Henry bars like Papa eats spinach. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Time is what called by Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez has brought out the O. Henry Bar, see? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's gone now. Right there. Henry from the Dominican Republic. 6'1", 205. Came over to Montreal last year, Joe, and maybe it works. This one is gone. The O'Henry bar is the sauce. Home run numero trois. His third homer. <laughs> yeah, Kenny's going to start eating him and become a 50 home run guy, right? Buy it, throw the field. Oh, boy. Under that one. Two outs left for Henry Rodriguez. <laughs> you want to think about getting to four. Only four guys advance. Euler is in, but remember McGuire and Bonds have four. Henry with three. <laughs> Just missed that one. Had a good rip at it. farther than I thought. Henry Rodriguez with three homers might get him in. You're right. You do, man? Well, this is one of his long home runs. I mean, he hit three, and this one comes right after he eats a little bit of the old Henry bar. Gets a little extra energy right into the deck, second deck. There is his teammate, Pedro Martinez, and his reaction. We return the uh, Gary Sheffield and Brady Anderson, who leads everyone with 30 home runs. This is about the virtual office, about breaking the chains, stretching the boundaries, and making the world your workplace. About taking your business everywhere and anywhere. 
about paging, laptops, cell phones, the internet, and conferencing. And it's not conversation or speculation. This is about how one company can give you the health, hardware, and software to make your virtual office a reality. This is about how far you can go once you know how. Network MCI. That's how. You, you, and you have the right to play sports until the cows come home. You have the right to assemble. You have the right to be equipped. You have the right to free speech. But anything you say can be held against you. That's life. Liberty. And the pursuit of the goal. But you don't have the right to remain thirsty. Not when there's Gatorade. Because every athlete has the right to be quenched. These are your rights. Now get out there and exercise them. Life is a sport. Drink it up. For men and speed sticks, Oscar De La Hoya. To be a winner in the ring, I have to give more than just 100% and never quit. The effort is measured by the sweat. That's why I use a deodorant that works as hard as I do. Speed Stick. It never quits. It gives me 110% protection against odor with its long-lasting deodorant ingredients. And Speed Stick protection helps keep me fresh all day so I can be a winner. Out of the ring as well. Speed Stick. Like you, it never quits. By men Good as they are, if you think added engine protection only comes in a bottle, this will rock your lifters. The new Fram Double Guard oil filter with DuPont Teflon additive already in it. The same amount of Teflon protection as a quart of the leading engine treatment. Now one filter does two jobs to fight dirt, driving extremes, and startup wear for a lot less than using almost any of the leading bottles. The new Fram Double Guard oil filter with DuPont Teflon already in it. Jay Buhner is in the next round, and so is Mark McGuire. He wins in a tie break. We'll explain that later. He knows he's moving on. Barry Bonds has a good chance, and we'll see what Brady Anderson and Gary Sheffield can do. Join us on the links Thursday at 4 Eastern. First round coverage of the Ford Senior Players Championship. Benny Champ J.C. Sneed leads a big field, including Jack Nicholas, Jim Colbert, and Dave Stockton, who won this past week. And Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, the first round coverage of the Michelob Championship. Followed by second round coverage of the seniors later that afternoon. You know what? I got to think that that was. I got to think that the Michelob Championship is the second round, too. You see, if I just do them rather than read what's handed to me, we're safe. At any rate, the, the, the pro golfers are in Kingsville, Virginia this week, the week before the British Open, which we'll have on ESPN also. Enjoy the golf. I always do. I you always, always do. do. You're right. Just watch it. Where were we? Oh, yes. Brady Anders. The longest sideburns in the league also <laughs> has the most home runs in the league. Brady Anderson, who hit number 30 last night. And, Joe, I want to get into a point you made during the telecast just to prove that I do watch. Okay. Will that go back, back? Oh, it just missed. Brady originally came up with the Red Sox and was traded over to Baltimore in 88. Another one of those, we need a pitcher to get us to the pennant, which Mike Boddicker did help him do. Young Brady Anderson went to Baltimore. Now, he wasn't a 30 or 40 or 50 home run hitter every year, but he set stolen base records, consecutive stolen base. Plus, he's a good defensive outfield. Yes. Plays with hustle all the time. Good guy to have around. Funny. But here's the point you made on the line drive that just misses. They pitched to Brady Anderson in a situation last night, even though he's the leading home run hitter in the majors. It's as if people still aren't convinced. And if we're gonna, before they wake up, he might have 50 home runs. Well, I think that works in his favor because I definitely believe that they underestimate what he has done so far. Gone. No underestimating that. Cal's seen it all year, but don't you agree? I mean, he's... Oh, no doubt. I mean, he can sneak up on them because they're still going to pitch to him in situations where they wouldn't pitch to, say, Barry Bonds or... Uh, or even on his team, Paul or, Merrill. Or Paul somebody. Merrill, yeah, that's exactly right. Well, they walked Paul Merrill last night in situations where they should have pitched to him, probably. But, you know, they pitched to Brady Anderson, and he made them pay. Brady does take his hex. Most home runs he had was uh, first year at Camden Yards, 21 in 1992. So this to uh, the 30 home runs, a career best. Well, he had 72 going into the season. Sends it back, 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 gone. Tattoos the out-of-town scoreboard. 
Jay Buhner, who led everybody with six in the first round, but Brady's still swinging. Does this go way back in right center? Gone! See again, you don't think, oh, it's not Mark McGuire. Right. <laughs> it's not going to go. Henry Rodriguez on the bubble. He had three. Good look at Brady. Like like a. Oh, it's right here, Joe. Yeah, yeah you Joe. got it. You got it. You got it. No, I would have had it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> look, at, look at Brady. He's breathing like 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 Secretariat in the stables. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Let's go down to Buck Martinez with someone who has uh, seen Brady's heroics all year. Buck. Cal, what would you tell Brady about this contest? You had a lot of luck in Toronto hitting home runs. Uh, I stayed out of this one. I didn't offer him any advice. It seems like he's using uh, the same kind of strategy, though. He's taking a lot of pitches and trying to trying to be in control of. Uh, of his contest and not let the crowd kind of affect him just to keep swinging. Looks to me like he's got a bigger bat than normal. I tell you what, he said 30 home runs in the first half, and I'm, I'm in his batting practice group as well, and he hits home runs every single day. I think he's just in one of those home run grooves. And in this contest, if you get into one, you can put six or seven in a row out. Well, you should know. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. All right, Chris. All right, Cal and Buck. Home run number four for Brady Anderson. So now Henry Rodriguez knows he won't move on. Cal, remember the show he put on at the Sky Dome? He had 12 out that year, and then was the MVP of the game, too, right? That year, I mean, he, he really liked McGuire in San Diego when he had 12 and 92. Oh, look at a man named Brady. Back, back, gone. That was a real, that was a McGuire-type arc. Be foul, a long way, but foul. One remaining with five home runs for Brady One swing left, Brady with five. Does this have the leg? Oh! Tattoos the wall. But Brady, as he should with 30, is a big five here. He's moving on to the second round. A lot of Oriole fans are made to drive up to that stadium to give him the hand. But oh, he's, he's, he's a home run hitter. Well, it's only natural that a guy's leading the league in home, major leagues in home runs should be in the final for this contest. I mean, he drills this one down the line. That's more of a Brady Anderson type home run. He's not going to hit a lot of them to straightaway center field like McGuire and some of the other players. He has to pull the ball to hit it out. Let's go down to Buck Martinez is with Brady. Buck. Brady. Well, Brady is the only sub 200 pounder in this contest. It looked like you got in a groove at the end. You know, that might be the nervous, most nervous I've ever been <laughs> in a batter's box ever. You know, my legs were shaking. I was trying to just uh, relax, which is real hard to do. It's easy to overswing, but you know, I just missed about three, so I felt I did pretty good. All right, thanks, Brady. I just wanted to not embarrass myself. That was my big goal. Well, he hardly embarrassed himself. Five home runs. He's moving on. Will Gary Sheffield join this group and knock one out in the next round? You into sports? I mean, really into sports? Great. Me too. The Big Four. You know, football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. If you like me, you need more than the score. You need to know what's coming. Penetrating analysis of teams and players. The inside story on strategies and trade rumors. Who's hot and who's not. And why. From people out there where it's happening. Like me, week after week. And I'll even give you a great deal. We've been called the Bible of Sports for over a hundred years. We deliver the inside scoop on every team, on every franchise. So no matter where you live, the sporting news keeps you close to your favorite team, pro or college. Okay, here's the deal. Call the 1-800 number and tell them the fly sent you. 
It's 2,378 miles through four countries, two mountain ranges, and Europe's most breathtaking scenery. It's also one of the world's most difficult and challenging sporting events. This year, Miguel Indurain goes for his sixth consecutive win against his most formidable competition, including the course itself. The Tour de France, presented by Michelin. Tomorrow, 6 o'clock on ESPN2. Gillette presents a unique antiperspirant for men. Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. Unlike a stick that can stay in your underarm hair, this is a soft gel. It goes cleanly through the hair, directly to the skin surface, to fight odor and wetness where they begin, for powerful all-day protection. And its clear formula leaves no white residue. Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. Here's where we stand with just Gary Sheffield waiting to hit in the opening round of the Gillette Home Run Derby. Chris Berman, Joe Morgan, Buck Martinez. Glad you could join us here in what's become a, a tradition here at ESPN. The night before the All-Star game went all through the house. <laughs> Not a creature was stirring. Gary Sheffield hopes to stir him up a little bit. Needs four to advance. Well, Mark McGuire was my favorite in this contest. And we really went out Sheffield on a limb with that. Yeah, I did. You're right. I, I stuck my neck out, you know, but I, I still figured that he had a chance. Well, McGuire also has the three longest ones, 460, 459, and 440. This was my second choice now. <sighs> Gary's an interesting hitter, and he's been since he's been a Brewer and a Padre and a, a Marlin. The 33 home runs once uh, in 92 with the Padres when he won the batting title at 330 and was traded the next year. Not often you trade a batting champ the next season. But they did. And Sheffield with 25 home runs, but he can hit for average and for power, obviously. Well, he's got the quickest bat of all the hitters in this contest. That's really why I like him. I mean, his bat is quick and he's strong. Slow it down a little bit. Turn slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit, will you? Slow it down. Give me a change up. From our trivia department. One ball. Sheffield was traded as a batting champ. It's happened six times. Do you remember the last time a batting champ was traded the next season? It's tough, but it was back in your heyday. Matty Alou. That, that could have been. Madlock, Bill Madlock, one oh, moment Madlock. with the Cubs and was yeah. traded to the okay. Giants for Bobby right. Mercer. That's right. from our trivia department. Right. Well, if the National League's going to win this thing and break the AL's five-year scheme, Sheffield has to hit seven. That'll just get him a tie. He already is halfway to ten outs without a home run. Oh. Got to make sure I get one. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get one. Well, that's true. If you get the first one quickly, as most of the guys that hit, hit the most, they got one right away, and then they were able to relax. Pressure builds up if you make four or five outs before you hit a home run. This one will be close, but not quite. Oh, eight outs now for Gary Sheffield, who is hitting cleanup. Well, if you want to call cleanup fifth in this case. But he's really pressing now, you can yeah. see. Yeah, trying to lift everything. But that's what happens. That's why. Brady Anderson said he was so nervous he did not want to be in Gary Sheffield's shoes. Or Mike Piazza. Yes, Mike. Oh, Mike's always going to be a legend in this contest. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but one year he'll come in and tattoo about eight. Well, nothing doing for Gary Sheffield. And let's go quickly down to Buck Martinez as he hustles over to talk with Gary. It was pressing, I guess, Buck. Gary, it's a little more nerve-wracking in that batter's box than one might expect. Yeah, it's hard, you know, it's harder than it looked, you know, but, uh, you know, it's a tough ballpark, but uh, these guys big and strong, you know, you're just looking to get one to get that press off. Joe and Chris were talking about getting one early in that bat, and then halfway through, it looked like you started to press a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to muscle up, and uh, when you muscle up, your swing is slower, and uh, you don't use too much power that way. All right, Gary, thanks for your time. All right. Let's go back upstairs to Chris and Joe. All right, Buck, thank you. Well, Mark McGuire hit the three longest home runs in his four and put him into the second round. 
So the two guys that got the 300 this year in the competition, McGuire and Bonds, are moving on. The major league leader in home run, Brady Anderson, 30, is moving on. And Jay Buhner led after round one. Face it, no other razor shaves closer or with more comfort than Gillette Sensor XL. Soft microfins that protect your skin and individually spring-mounted twin blades that adjust to your face. No razor feels more comfortable during your shave or leaves your face smoother after. Gillette Sensor XL. And try new Gillette Aftershave, a splash that moisturizes as it refreshes. Foot action. To me, foot action's a dance. And this is my dance floor. Hit it. It's much harder with a partner. Put actions where to get feel the shoes you wear when you're doing whatever. So, you want to dance? For every action, there's foot action. Your car's braking system is like a pair of jeans. Certain parts tend to go faster than others. Of course, the obvious problem isn't always the only problem. That's why Midas begins every brake job with a 45-point inspection of the entire system. It's a Midas way of making sure the job's done right. And you don't end up with any unpleasant surprises. Midas Auto Systems experts. What can we do for you today? Did soccer discover America, or did America finally discover soccer? Either way, soccer is here in a big way, and it's here for good. The MLS on ESPN. The action continues with the Major League Soccer All-Star Game. Sunday at 5 p.m. on ESPN. The MLS on ESPN. Finally, America gets it. Warren Zevon once sang, it was an excitable boy, they all said. An exciting first round. Jay Buhner, Brady Anderson, Mark McGuire, and Barry Bonds are moving on to round number two. We're moving on after this at about 10.25 Eastern for our celebrity softball game here at the Vet. Then Sports Center begins about five minutes early than usual, earlier. 11.25 Eastern, 8.25 on the West Coast. And all these uh, beautiful aerial shots here of the Vet. Provided by our friends at the Bud One Airship, and we thank them very, very large. And we wipe the slate clean, and we start anew. The three longest home runs in the first round, hit by this man, Mark Eva Destruction McGuire. Well, I'm still going to pick him as my favorite, but do I, do I get another choice? We're down the four guys. I'm going to choose Mark McGuire with Brady Anderson as close second. I like it. Short armor. And there's Brady looking at you. Know who's throwing now? A name might be familiar. There are four batting practice pitchers. That's Dave Cash, who, as you know, Joe, is a fine wow. second baseman for the Phillies, Pirates, etc. Yeah, but the first thing Mark McGuire yelled at him was a short armor. That means, you know, he doesn't extend his arm as tough as a super ball. Oh! He extended his arms yeah, on that one. Did. Uh, Dave Cash, we always used to think of him as the, as McGuire sends it to center with a seven of juice, sends it back, and gone! Looks like he missed it, Joe, and yeah, it went he did miss it. 420. Well, that's why it helps to be 230 pounds. I think a Dave Cash on the all-money team with Don Money and Bobby <laughs> Bonds and Wes Stock, and uh, remember those guys back then? Yeah. We had fun doing that. Three outs. 
Go down to uh, Buck Martinez with uh, Barry Bonds, who's chomping at the bit. Buck? Barry had to change bats in the first round. Now you're down to a new bat. Well, whose bat are you going to use this time? Derek Bell's. Yeah, Derek Bell's bat, looks like. Because I only brought one bat, and I don't want to break it. I use it in the game. What kind of pace is McGuire putting up here for you? surprised though because Mark McGuire is really good especially if he gets a second round that's when he really dominates but I'm really surprised that he hasn't just taken over well he's getting ready to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, because he's so strong like he gets jammed and the ball goes off the wall that's embarrassing <laughs> no. and look at his arm as big as my thigh but this looks like he's all right, Barry, thanks. Let's go upstairs to Chris and Joe. I think he gets 10. So he gets All right, Buck and Barry. You know, he doesn't get a chance to see McGuire, although they do in spring training some. Yeah, but that, the comedy made about he's getting ready to take over. Last home run was 450, Joe, so he's at 460, 459, 450, and 440. He missed it, and it's gone. Well, that's what, five. that's what Barry Bonds said. He'd get jammed and hit it out. He'd get it off the end of the bat, and it'll still go out. <sighs> this one will not have the distance. Remember, we wiped the slate clean, but you still get the 10 outs in the second round. The best two of these four will advance to the championship round. <sighs> Actually, I think he's starting to get tired a little bit, and that's going to be a factor in the finals because it is very hot and humid here, and you start taking 60 or 70 swings, and you do get tired. <laughs> back, 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 gone! Six home runs, 10 in all for Mark McGuire. Same spot. I think the same fan will get two balls. <laughs> well, Barry Bonds predicted he was going to take over, and he has done that. Maybe I don't need to pick a second guy, right? No, I think you have your first and <laughs> Just second stay guy. stay with him, huh? I didn't say anything because, I, I mean, I totally agree. I mean, it was he's in that groove last year and this year. Yeah. Now, think of if he had those six games at Vegas that they missed or that he missed when the A's played. He missed what 23 games? Well, and that hurt. You have to remember that hurts his timing. You know, missing those games. It took it, so he's 28 days probably behind his best pace. Well, he's second in the majors behind Anderson, 30 with 28 homers. And the 65 home runs the last 162 games. This too is gone. And I tell you what, the fans are starting to get into it now. Well, how can you not? <laughs> Six five two fifty first round pick of the A's in eighty four. Came up in eighty seven. Went immediately hit forty nine home runs and was rookie of the year. At forty two in nineteen ninety two, despite missing twenty games. <laughs> oh, it's a moonshot! There's a plane up there. Look out! And here's one that he hit and hits into the upper deck, but he hit about three up there, and they all look very similar, as Chris said. One guy may have gotten two or three balls up there. I mean, these are just tremendous shots. And the point is, he hits that one good, and it goes in the upper deck. The ones he just hit mediocre, they go into the second deck. So, I mean, look at that. That's, look at it. He even finishes nice on that one. 
Joe, he's hit 15 home runs today. If you add them all up, he's hit them for over a mile. <laughs> it's just one afternoon's work. Let's go down to Buck Martinez. Buck? Well, Mark, you said that fatigue might be a factor. It looked like you were getting tired in that round with hit nine home runs. Well, I thought you only got five outs. That's why I started walking away, so... It was sort of nice to say you got to fight more, so... Uh, I got in a little groove right there. Again, I had to get used to another pitcher, but... Uh, he threw it nice, and uh, I got a hold of a couple. Will you uh, request Dave Cash for the next round? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'd love to have him next round. All you right. Back home in Oakland, want me to win it. All right, let's go back to Chris Berman. All right, Buck, thank you, boy. There used to be, uh, well, it's the Bay Area battle on the line. Barry Bonds has his work cut out for him. We'll be back. I can't believe I'm losing my hair back here. Like father, like son. Yeah, right. Look, if you want to regrow some hair, check this out. Rogaine? Don't you need a prescription? Not anymore. How's it work? Rogaine goes to the root of your hair and for some people gets it to grow. What have you got to lose? Nothing, I guess. Except more hair. That's been easy to use. <laughs> and it's starting to work. See, there's room for growth in every relationship. Rogaine, medically proven to regrow hair. My brakes are gone. Any chance I could get that fixed in a couple of hours? Tell you what, leave it here. I'll see what I can do. Check in periodically. I was wondering, how's my car coming? I have three of my best guys on it right now. With Pep Boys, 12 service bays and expert technicians, you're in and out fast. 26,000 items, tires and service too. Pep Boys, everything but gas. How do you keep track of everything that happens in the world of motor racing? You drive with us. RPM Tonight, the ultimate wrap-up of the day that was in the world of motor racing. Monday through Friday at 7 and Sunday at 8, only on ESPN2. This is about the virtual office, about breaking the chains, stretching the boundaries, and making the world your workplace. About taking your business everywhere and anywhere. About paging, laptops, cell phones, the internet, and conferencing. And it's not conversation or speculation. This is about how one company can give you the health, hardware, and software to make your virtual office a reality. This is about how far you can go once you know how. Network MCI, that's how. Mark McGuire certainly started off round number two with a major league bang, nine home runs. Many of the Olympian or Stargellian or Luzinskian or Schmidtian variety. I like that. Right? <laughs> hey, you'll have more baseball telecasts at home than ever before when you purchase Major League Baseball extra innings. Featuring hundreds of telecasts from outside your local area. Call DirecTV or Prime Star to subscribe to Major League Baseball extra innings. Well, one of the guys you want to see is this man, three-time MVP Barry Bonds. They were playing. I left my heart in San Francisco. Something slow. He said, a little more up tempo here. I'm ready to I do like something. That. See, when you're big, you can control the music. <laughs> I do want to say, Joe, that I get the candlestick or Oakland. They do let me pick the music up. <laughs> There's James Bond music well, for him now. Mission Impossible <laughs> trying to catch uh, Mark McGuire. Barry's the man for the job. He won his three MVPs in four years. It put him in rather select company. Everybody knows that. Only three-time MVP winners. Barry Bonds, Joe DiMaggio, Jimmy Fox, as this one is powered to right field. Back, 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 back. Gone. Bonds, Jimmy Fox, Joe DiMaggio, Stan Musial, Campy, Yogi, Mickey Mantle, Mike Schmidt. I mean, You're right. there you go. No one's ever won four, though, and he still has an opportunity. He almost did. Yeah, Pendleton you're right. won in 91. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people felt he should have won that year as well. Rip to right. Just foul. Barry with 23 home runs at the break. And has gone like weeks without hitting one, too, in that 23. Back, 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 back. Oh! That was tattooed. Wow. 
rip head drop. Watch out. Oh, oh man. I hope nobody gets hurt on those. Had a long home run by Bonds, by the way, 451 feet. So that's in the McGuire territory. Tell you what, Dave Cash was the second baseman, and he couldn't throw that hard from second, but he's getting <laughs> it up there in a hurry. So it's Barry back, 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 gone. Homer number three for Bonds. I think he got three more. He got seven, I think. Six or seven. Bonds. Hey, these guys are getting loose now. These look good, both the uh, plate appearances, Joe. This looks good. That gets out in a hurry. That'll make you grow sideburns. <laughs> He's taking some pitches. Still three outs to go. Got three left. Oh, look inside. Listen to me critique the pitchers. Looked a little bit inside, Joe. Yeah, but a lot of times a good left-handed hitter can get that ball fair right down the line, and obviously that's the shortest distance in the ballpark. Or does it get out? Back to right center. Back, back, back. Oh, he got under it all right. Home run number six. Jay had six the first round, but boy, these guys are setting a target. McGuire with nine. Bonds already with six, Joe. Well, they got over the nervousness, they said, of that first round. Bay Area with 15 home runs here. It's, uh, these two plate appearances. This one is ripped to right. Back, 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 back. Gone. Got it going now. Steve is sweating. Seven home runs and it's like sweat. So hot out here. American League sluggers looking on, saying, "Boy, we've heard about this guy over in this other league." Eight outs. <laughs> well, I think he is getting a little tired. He's trying to pump himself up there. I think he's hit enough. He better try to save some of this for the final. Said he was the man for the job, Joe. You're right. That was our second pick, right? He's now tied Mark McGuire with nine homers. He's doing a smart thing. He takes the pitch. Here. And remember, they each hit four the first time. So if you just between the two of them, they each hit 13. Just yeah. that doesn't carry over, but among themselves. There it goes. Back, 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 back. Double figures. Unbelievable. <laughs> but we've seen the guy each time get a hot the last few years. Yeah, but never two. Never like you're Bell, right. Bell and Thomas last yeah. year were. But not like this. Not like this. Oh, we're just growing up. We're Freddie Anderson and Jay Buhner going, my goodness. I gotta get nine to get in. They're running out of balls out there. <laughs>
Jay's going, what is that? Well, that will retire Barry Bonds, but I have a feeling we'll see him again in standing ovation for 10 home runs. Let's go down to Buck Martinez. Barry, you ran out of gas a little bit at the end, huh? I'm dying. <laughs> I, I, I checked that high one because I got tired. <laughs> I, I wanted to try to get one more so that it put a little more pressure on the other guy. I didn't have the strength anymore. I was done. All right, let's go back to Chris Berman. Thank you very much. So 10 in this round, four before, 14 homers, and he's not done, Joe. Well, I mean, he's got a quick bat. He's strong. And he, he knows he's got a compact swing. And I mean, after he got in the groove, I think that's the key. If you can get in the groove here and the batting practice pitcher throws it in the same spot, you can hit a lot in a row. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful swing right there. And he stopped over swinging. I think that was the key. He was not over swinging in that at bat. So Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire have thrown down the gauntlet to Brady Anderson and Jay Buhner. We'll be back. The original import tastes German beer at its finest. Bex, America's favorite German beer. Ever wonder what makes Ken Griffey Jr. so sweet? I feel a lot of love in the park today. It's his honey frosted Wheaties, frosted flakes with a grand slam taste. You know, you should smile more. Honey frosted Wheaties, it's sweet energy. Oscar De La Hoya. To be a winner in the ring, I have to give more than just 100% and never quit. Speed stick works as hard as I do. It gives me 110% protection against odors with its long-lasting deodorant ingredients. Speed stick, it never quits. It was a masterpiece. A large pizza with three kinds of pepperoni and 300% as much of it. It was pepperoni perfection. Let it go. from Little Caesars. Three kinds of pepperoni, 300% as much of it. Eight ninety nine, dollars carried out. It's a pizza. Or have it delivered. The shoe that started it all is back in ball. Introducing the new All-Star for the next All-Star. Welcome to heroin. Enjoy your stay. Bay Area 19, world nothing as Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire have just owned the second round. And uh, Joe made the comment, say, new balls, please. Ball, Is that what they say in Wimbledon every, what, seven or nine games? Yeah. New balls, please. <laughs> so now, with his work cut out for him, is Brady Anderson, who had five in the first <laughs> round, second fast, and is the major league leader at the break with 30. With 30 guys with 20 home runs at the break. Unbelievable, isn't it? Wonderful to see someone else get to 50 this year. I think you will. I think there will be a couple of players get to 50 possibly. Next round is two guys with five. Outs. Remember Bell guy, Albert Bell got to 50 last year with only 144 games. The reason I bring that up, Joe, is that only 12 guys have ever gotten to 50. It's been done more than 12 oh, yeah. times, but just 12 yeah, guys. 12 players have done that. Five of the national, seven in the American. Well, I, I think McGuire has a great opportunity if he can stay healthy. Yes. No question about that. Brady trying to get into that, uh, into that stroke, into that line drive mode that he had in the first round. saw in the paper today the, the guys that have had 30 home runs at the break now what I saw listed of course uh, was, was from 
1961 on. But of those guys, the only one to even get to 50 was Roger Maris. Anyone else who had the leading home run at the break in the 30s never got to 50. That is amazing. That pace. Here's one if it stays fair. It is gone. Home number one for Brady. Stay fair. Yes. Brady, as his nickname would indicate, Brady Bunch Anderson hits him in punches. Look at this. One, two, three. You're out of here. These guys are in a groove, I'm telling you. Like I said, they got over the nervousness of the first round, and they're just letting it all hang out. Four out, three over. Joe, what was the longest home run you ever saw him? Uh, the one stick out there, you can chew on this. I mean, you have seen a few games. Yes, I have seen a, and I've seen, I've seen a few long balls. I would have to think about that. Sorry, it's a two-hour telecast. All right. We gotta, we gotta... <laughs> no, I mean, you had a thinker. You don't want to leave one out. Yeah. Listen to Brady. Let's go down to Buck Martinez with Jay Buhner, who has his work cut out for him. Buck? Jay, 10 home runs, that's a pretty lofty goal for you. What about a challenge of matching that? Well, you never know until you go up there, so we'll have to wait and see. Any concerns about this round? Yeah, my, my biggest concern is having enough energy to finish it. <laughs> after, after, about, after about 10 swings, it really starts to start getting on you, so... I just want to go up there and pace myself a little bit more. This is the first time I've done it, so I didn't really know how to pace myself. So maybe now I got some sort of an idea. We'll see. All right, let's go back to Chris Burnham. All right, Buck and Jay, thank you. Well, hey, Brady Anderson giving it a go here. He's got three outs left, but he's up to five home runs. Two outs remaining with five home runs. Look at Brady send it back. And gone for homer number six. Now, believe it or not, as good as McGuire is hit it, if Brady ties him with nine, because he had more in the first round, he would go. Oh, is that the way it goes? Well, at least in this round. This we round. The okay, we change every round. It's a moot point, but Brady gave it a go. Six home runs for the uh, Major League home run leader at the break. And he certainly counted himself well. We've got some guys. He hit him in bunches, Joe. Can Jay Buhner join the party? Can he edge out Mark McGuire? Barry Bonds is going to the finals. You into sports. I mean really into sports. Great. Me too. The big four. You know, football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. If you're like me, you need more than the score. You need to know what's coming. Penetrating analysis of teams and players. The inside story on strategies and trade rumors. Who's hot and who's not. And why. From people out there where it's happening. Like me, week after week. And I'll even give you a great deal. We've been called the Bible of sports for over a hundred years. We deliver the inside scoop on every team, on every franchise. So no matter where you live, the sporting news keeps you close to your favorite team, pro or college. Okay, here's the deal. Call the 1-800 number and tell them the fly sent you. Up in heaven. Am I a fan of the senior tour? Absolutely. Chi-Chi, Raymond, Murph, how can you not love those guys? Of course, being God, I love everyone. But answering prayers, forgiving sins, it must be hard to catch every event. Oh, not when you're all senior, is it? Plus, if I'm really strapped for time, I'll just rain an event out and watch it the following year. Any suggestions on uh, ESPN's coverage? Fewer blimp shots. I'm getting tired of watching things from above. It's almost four. Ah, we'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why spread satin is formulated to cover the first time. 
so you can finish in less time. Glidden, a better way to paint. The Gillette Home Run Derby is presented by Gillette Sensor XL and the Gillette Series. Gillette, the best a man can get. And in part by Network MCI, how to get modern communications technology working for your business. And by Glidden, the company that makes the world a colorful place. Welcome back to Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Barry Bonds is moving on to the championship of the Home Run Derby with 10. Mark McGuire is in good position to move on unless Jay Buhner hits nine. Brady Anderson gave it a go, but he will alas not be in the finals. So Barry Bonds is in the finals and we'll see him again on our next Sunday night uh, game of the week. The Giants and Dodgers did not get much better than that in the rivalry department. Here is Jay Buhner who led everybody in the first round with six. And we've gone from 2001 to the Alan Parsons project. I mean, you're a music buff, too. Wow, right? these things are dramatic. Oh, these okay. tunes. You know I'm a music buff, Joe. Tell you what, if Jay wasn't backing down in that interview with Buck. I no, he wasn't. That. You're right. And hey, you never know. Do you see he's already taken a pitch? But Two. he did say he got tired after about 10 swings there. He needs nine. That's what the, his number that he's looking for. He's still got that warm-up jacket on because it's not warm enough. Okay, explain that to me again. If he ties Mark McGuire, he has nine, but Mark McGuire has more home runs than he had. Well, and he hit more of the first round. Well, McGuire in the first round had four. Buhner had six. Oh, okay. So he had the most in the first round. So if there's any tie, he'd go. Okay. But that's he's got to hit. He's got to hit a few before we worry about it. Not exactly conducive to hitting home runs right there. That so Jay is having trouble getting the ball up here. Edgar Martinez, he could break the all-time record for doubles this year. And a lot of the American League players were saying that he may have been able to win this contest. He's one of those guys that just gets in a groove with his swing. And they say in batting practice, he may hit 20 home runs out of 25 swings. Well, he missed that one. It goes to right field. It still may go. He missed it, and it's gone. It does help to be strong. Yes. Barry Bonds put on a show, getting the breather in the in the dugout. It's hot down there, of course, on the AstroTurf. Second All-Star game in Philadelphia in 20 years. Looking forward to that game tomorrow night, one back in 1976. Here. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. I played in that one myself. Sure you did. You know where I sat for that game, Joe? Where? Watch where this ball lands. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd have called me, I'd have gotten you a better seat. I didn't know you did. Okay. Between junior and senior in college, we got 700 level seats for five bucks. And I watched, who was it? George Foster. He's yeah. Cincinnati teammate hit a uh, home big run. home run. Yeah. Mark Fidrich scored yeah. it. He was off of Fidrich or yeah. he at least started the game? Fidrich started the game. I think we got a four or five hits off of him in the first inning. And I think George hit his home run off a reliever. I'm not sure. So Daniel had a homer. Fred Lynn had a homer for the Americans. Seven to one. Wire and Bonds, will it be a very area battle? It's looking that way as Buhner just hit two out and he's got only one out left. So the second round was not the first round for Jay Buhner. Didn't find his groove. And when we return to the championship of the home run derby, it'll be San Francisco against Oakland. There's an advertisement for interleague play if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire, the first one to hit it over the Golden Gate Bridge, wins the championship. 
face it, no other razor shaves closer or with more comfort than Gillette Sensor XL. Soft micro fins that protect your skin and individually spring-mounted twin blades that adjust to your face. No razor feels more comfortable during your shave or leaves your face smoother after. Gillette Sensor XL. And try new Gillette Shave Gel. Now the best gel takes care of your skin, too. This is about how your business can build new profit centers without bulldozing your budget about looking bigger than you are. This is about call centers, people, and technology that can capture new customers, answer questions, and process orders 24 hours a day. And it's not just for the rich, the powerful, or the daring. Because there's a way you can get the help, hardware, software, and advanced toll-free service to create your call center. All you have to know is how. Network MCI, that's how. Four. Uh, we'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why Spread Satin is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. Glidden, a better way to paint. Wow! <laughs> Don't it make you feel good to be alive? Huh? Sorry, I, I was kind of hitting close to home. From ESPN Labs, ESPN Net Sports Zone. Updated nearly a thousand times an hour, it always has something new to make you a better fan. ESPN Net Sports Zone. Technology for you. Taking your act on the road? With Connect First from Northwest Airlines, you get treated like a king for the price of coach. You pay coach, you sit in first class, only on Northwest, baby. <laughs> Back at the bat, Barry Bonds was truly a giant. Mark McGuire got straight A's in round number two, and they're moving on to the finals of our home run derby. We're moving on to All-Star Celebrity Softball, coming your way at 1025 tonight. Then Sports Center with a little earlier tea time, 1125 Eastern, 825 on the West Coast. Mark McGuire, certainly, every time he steps to the plate, you're expecting take measure, and he did not disappoint. Most of them were down the left field side, and you could see deck number two and deck number three, et cetera, et cetera. As long as home run in the second round of his nine were 450 feet. Average home run, each of them averaged over 400 feet. Mark McGuire, the man that can hit them out of anywhere. Coming up right now, the main event. I tell you what, McGuire and Bonds, by hitting as many as they did, they put a lot of pressure on the two guys that followed him. If McGuire can get off to a good start, put up a number, it's going to put a lot of pressure on Bonds. And that's when McGuire's coming up with an idea. He said, let's alternate. They just get five outs here, Joe. You got a pick? Yeah, I'm going to have to stick, with, stick McGuire. with McGuire. Well, because I think he's, a little, he's physically stronger, and both of them are tiring now. All right, folks, enjoy this one. They both hit nine and ten off, yeah. of, this, off of this guy. McGuire, who hit 13 total. Four and then nine. You want to take him before? Here, Barry Bonds in the background. He said, you weren't taken before. Don't start now. <laughs> oh. You can have it, man. <laughs> oh, he started to gas. Gas this. <laughs> Ground balls and a 450 foot wide ball. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, did he get to it? Oh, no. not quite. Remember, only get five outs. So Mark just has two outs left. That home run, by the way, 448 feet. I guess I'm pretty good, huh? Yeah, you are. <laughs> like a bat broke on that. Obviously did not. He's not going back for more lumber. Well, you can see McGuire's hitting more balls to right field now. The first time, first couple of times, everything was to center and left. 
John, under this one, if this wasn't the dead center, it might go. It might go anyway. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Two for McGuire. Strong. But I tell you what, Bonds will probably, he's going to have to hit a couple more, I believe, to win this. That's not going to get there. So, Mark McGuire with two in the finals. Well, this is the one that when we thought he was tired, he said, well, I'll just put a little more pressure on this one, squeeze the bat a little tighter, and let it go. Let's go down to Buck Martinez. Well, Mark, you run out of gas in that last round? Yeah. You know, it's tough when you got to sit down and, and uh, you've been swinging like that, and then you got to sit down and get back up again. But uh, I had fun. It was great. Great contest. All right, well, you never know, Barry. Could, uh, might, might not find the groove. No, he's, it's the different home runs, as you described, Joe. Yeah, but I think Barry, just if he gets in, you know, gets one going, he might hit three in a row, and that might be it. But I still felt that McGuire was stronger physically and that he, that would hold up. But two, I don't think, is going to win. Ooh. One round of home runs, that 10 right behind McGuire and Ripken. McGuire, by the way, six of the seven longest home runs hit today, which really doesn't surprise anybody. No, Bonds had the seventh, though, right? The one that was in the, he had second, 451. So Barry Bonds, like Mark McGuire, will take a pitch or two. <laughs> this one is back, 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 back. One swing, one upper deck home run. found the right music for it. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Barry Bonds, without getting it out, has struck three home runs, and Mark McGuire just threw the towel. <laughs> that was great. That was great. So the Bay Area are very proud of their players. Barry Bonds of the Giants, Mark McGuire of the A's put on a show, and the fans, I don't think, will forget it, Joe. No, this was awesome. I mean, I'm not going to forget it, <laughs> and I've seen a lot of home runs. Love you, man. I did. I beat the great Mark McGuire. <laughs> Let's go down to Buck McGuire, Martinez. Man. That's going to be, hey, Mom, you videotaping this? I beat Mark McGuire. It's right. Woo! Boy, that's tough. Barry, you're running out of gas, so you decided to do it quick, huh? Yeah, but you know, when he only had two, I said, I got a shot now, man. I thought news that I had a shot to tie. But I didn't want to go because most of the home run contests are only like two rounds. And you can't go against Mark McGuire twice. There's no way. If you go against him twice, you're going to lose. And what happened was, hey, um, I didn't, I didn't think I had a shot. I, I shot everything I had, you know, because I hit more line drives, and he's so strong. But, I don't know, thank God, man. You picked up the right bat, huh? Yeah. Derek Bell's bat. I'm swinging that all year. Thank God, man. All right, congratulations, Barry. Thank you. Let's go back up to Chris and Joe. All right, Buck, thank you. And Joe Barry Bonds was in the groove, was he not? Well, I expected one of the two to get in the groove and win it, and Mark McGuire couldn't get in the groove. Barry Bonds, first three swings, and that does it. So Barry Bonds, the winner of the 1986 Home Run Derby. The Gillette Home Run Derby presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports television. Next, all-star celebrity softball with Thorny and Susie Culver. For Joe Morgan and Buck Martinez, I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for watching. May all your home runs be long. How far can you go on $199? Well, come to Pep Boys and you can go 80,000 miles. Because right now, you can get four of our 80,000-mile tires for just $199. That's a full set for under 200 bucks. Oh, the roads you'll travel, the sights you'll see, the money you'll save. You can even charge them on your Pep Boys credit card. That's $199 for any size, any four of our 80,000-mile tires in stock. Pep Boys. Everything but gas.
for men and speed sticks, Oscar De La Hoya. To be a winner in the ring, I have to give more than just 100% and never quit. The effort is measured by the sweat. That's why I use a deodorant that works as hard as I do. Speed Stick. It never quits. It gives me 110% protection against odor with its long-lasting deodorant ingredients. And Speed Stick protection helps keep me fresh all day so I can be a winner. Out of the ring as well. Speed Stick. Like you, it never quits. By Madden. It's almost four. Ah, yeah, we'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why spread satin is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. Glidden, a better way to paint. This is about the virtual office, about breaking the chains, stretching the boundaries, and making the world your workplace, about taking your business everywhere and anywhere, about paging, laptops, cell phones, the internet, and conferencing. And it's not conversation or speculation. This is about how one company can give you the health, hardware, and software to make your virtual office a reality. This is about how far you can go once you know how. Network MCI, that's how. How are you doing, kid? How are you, Mr. Cosby? Looking Good luck to, to this. you. Yeah, I'm excited. All okay, right. uh, let's get right to it. Mr. Palmer? Yeah. Uh, he's on your team. I don't feel yes. like it's fair that he gets the pitch. You don't want Jim Palm? Why? Well, he won 20 games three years in a row, uh, two Cy Youngs, and I just feel that it would be an unfair advantage. Okay, so what do you want Palmer to do? Uh, he could pitch in. Pinch it? He's a pitcher. Well, but he's played major league level. I'm sure that his hitting is... Yeah, but his batting average was like 022. Okay, let's move on to... Um, yeah, well, what do you want him to do? Uh, I feel okay, a pitch hitting or a first base coach. Can he run for someone? I'm sorry, can you hang on for a second? Oh. Hello? Yeah, it's my agent, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, well, how much is it per week? 10,000 per week? Well, who else is starring it? Hang on a second. 10,000 per week, if it's the first year of the TV series, you think that's good? What network? NBC. Not enough. I'm sorry, it's not enough. Well, Mr. Cosby said it wasn't enough. Yeah, well, I'm in a celebrity softball game right now, so uh, just deal with it. I'm yeah. sorry about that. Thank you, it's all right. Welcome to Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, as ESPN brings you the all-star celebrity softball game presented by Network MCI. They'll be playing for fun, playing for charity, but most of all, they'll be playing for the love of the game of baseball. Welcome, everybody. Here's a sampling of the celebrities you'll be seeing on the Philadelphia Diamond today. From NBC's hit comedy, The Single Guy, Jonathan Silverman. Award-winning actor-director, Ron Howard. One of television's funniest actors, starring in a new CBS comedy this fall, Bill Cosby. 1995 NBA Rookie of the Year from the Philadelphia 76ers, Jerry Stackhouse. Co-star of NBC's hit comedy Wings, Amy Yazbeck. Saturday Night Live alum starring in a new NBC show this fall, Rob Snyder. Former baseball greats on hand, Jim Palmer, Lou Brock, Steve Garvey, and Keith Hernandez. And many more stars of television stage and silver screen, including a few surprises. And this is the site, the 67th All-Star Game is going to be played here at the Vet in Philadelphia. Hello, everybody. Gary Thorne, delighted to have you with us. Some idea of the fun we're going to be having. You've already seen some of the stars we're going to see. Susie Culber has got two of them at home plate right now. Susie? Gary, we've got two ends of the spectrum represented here. Ron Howard, one of the best in the movie business, and, of course, legendary Jim Palmer. Legendary? <laughs> Hall of Famer. Well, we'll give you that. Jim, obviously, the level here may be just a little bit under what you're accustomed to, but you still get pumped up every time you take the field. Oh, yeah, especially when, you know, see, I saw Ronnie Howard last year in Venice, Italy, doing a film festival, and now I see him in Philadelphia. When I'm looking for that, that swimming pool in Cocoon, uh -huh. where you go in and you feel like you're 20 again, so it's always nice to be with him. Ron, one of the best things about Apollo 13, one of the latest movies, is that we knew what was going to happen, but yet we were still on the edge of our seats, so if we, this is the backdrop, how would you set up the suspense for this game? Well, I think, it, you know, it, it, first of all, you know somebody's going to get hurt. The question is who, and how funny will they be when they fall down? Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure you can really be unbiased uh, doing this interview. No, I think I can. Well, I mean, as a Jim, journalist, can yeah. I think I can. Uh, I can be unbiased at least for an hour. Gary, back to you. Susie, thank you very much. Just two of the stars. They're not only here to play this softball game, 
one they have a great love for baseball as all of these people have given their time secondly about a half a million dollars is going to go to both Major League Baseball charities and local charities out of the two day event part of it coming from this softball game a huge crowd's going to be on here there are rules how many of them will be followed we have absolutely no idea but Susie and I will try and keep you updated on it and you'll get to meet some of the stars and some of the great former Major League Baseball players all coming up all star celebrity softball is presented by Network MCI how to get modern communications technology working for your business and in part by Michelin X1, because so much is riding on your tires. And by Burger King, where you can get your burgers worth. This is about the virtual office, about breaking the chains, stretching the boundaries, and making the world your workplace. About taking your business everywhere and anywhere. About paging, laptops, cell phones, the internet, and conferencing. And it's not conversation or speculation. This is about how one company can give you the help, hardware, and software to make your virtual office a reality. This is about how far you can go once you know how. Network MCI. That's how. Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame is in theaters. Will today be the day? You're ready to fly? And it looks like everybody's getting into the act with the puppets from Burger King. Don't thank me. Thank Quasimodo. Your kids can collect all four, only $1.99 each, with any value meal. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Puppets, only at Burger King. You're not gonna go home and leave this half finished, are you? I got six days, Dad. We'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why Spread House paint is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. I guess you'll be going back early, then. I thought I might stick around for a few days. All right. Glidden, a better way to paint. But don't expect me to cook for you. <laughs> Introducing the Michelin X1 with a six-year unlimited mileage tread life warranty. It has better wet traction than any rain tire, plus Michelin control in any driving condition. Because you don't just cover a lot of miles, you cover a lot of weather. The original import. Taste German beer at its finest. Bex, America's favorite German beer. And welcome back to the vet in Philadelphia, our all-star celebrity softball game presented by Network MCI. The teams of the Stars and the Stripes as they have divided up both the celebrities and the former Major League players and some great ones who are on hand for this game, including that one. Jim Palmer, they questioned whether he should play or not. Can he run? Can he throw? What is he doing? He's out the left field. <laughs> so Jimmy's going to play. Jerry Stackhouse of the Philadelphia 76ers is in center field. For a while, anyway. We guarantee they won't be staring there for very long. Amy Asbeck has gone out to play either second base or short field. We're not sure. Bill Cosby's been out moving her around. Take a look at Dick Allen, who will be working uh, in the infield somewhere. He, too, has been moving around. Robert Wall's going to be playing over at third base in this game. He'll have one of the game's greatest shortstops next to him and Larry Boa. And uh, there is Tashina Arnold, the co-star of Fox's comedy Martin. She'll be playing, uh, looks like, second base now. And Steve Garvey played in 10 All-Star games and won every time he played in an All-Star game. Doing the catching will be John Stewart, the MTV video jock. And on the mound without a dashboard is Meatloaf. Rob Snyder, who wasn't going to be the manager, he was just going to play if someone would let him. He's now managing, so he's guaranteed to play. That's one way to take care of that problem. Bill Cosby's interfered with this game enormously already as the manager of the other team. Bruce Martin's, though, played umpire. Right now. Get him out of here. Right now. Get him in the, make him, he's out of the box. Let's play ball. I think he wants Ben Franklin thrown out of the city, but Bill knows better than that since he's from Philadelphia. Abe may have to settle this, our first base umpire in today's game. And here is Lou Brock. Lou Brock, we are underway. We are going to follow some rules here, as we told you. They are the baseball rules supposedly in effect. Meatloaf is doing the pitching and Brock's doing the tearing. There are outfield fences. 
And this is a 1 nothing game. Meatloaf couldn't wait to give up that home run. Bill Cosby has gone out to pick up the ball and the base. Lou Brock has not been able to touch third base because it's under Bill Cosby's arm. This is recording artist Monica who sang the American National Anthem prior to the uh, game today. Words of encouragement from John Stewart for his pitcher saying he has nothing. Steve Garvey and Abe Lincoln calls her out. That's our Budweiser blend shot of the event here in Philadelphia. A very fine crowd on hand here. There's the Budweiser blimp circling above for our all-star celebrity Jonathan, softball game. You got an advantage. You got that stupid okay. little fence. You're, you're just going to stay here, huh? All right. Don't, don't, don't get hit. Jonathan Silverman. I, I don't know. I came up. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm just going uh, to just gonna, just gonna play a little here. Here you go. We have no idea who the attractive lady is. It, it, it might behoove the game a little, a little bit. He is a single guy, however. Uh, but come on, let's go. I'll get you a nice seat over there in the dugout. It'll be, take care of this girl, boys. All right, here we go. Bless you. What is the count? One one. Bill Cosby, managing umpiring, doing a good job, we might add. Selverman got a base hit. Jim Palmer, a ferocious throw into the infield. Jimmy's going to pitch a little later. Steve Garvey at first base. Kent McCulvey. It felt good. I've been playing against Mr. Loaf there for five or six years. I have maybe two hits it's off. It's not a bad cut right here. This is a Dodger fan who's played some baseball in his time. That's a pretty good swipe. A couple years, Ben. I hope three. Seems like it could go on and on forever. 348 career home runs for George Foster, famous, of course, for the days in Cincinnati. Also played with the New York Mets. Thank you, sir. But you're going to throw him, Here we go, George. Foster still got a pretty good cut. Jim Palmer, sorry he decided to play left field. He's already had to go both right and left. First and third, one out. Ron Howard, a Dodger fan. Said his hero was Sandy Koufax when he was growing up. Rob Snyder, who is managing this team as well as playing. What a career Ron Howard has had in the industry from the days of Mayberry to the great movies, Apollo 13 being the latest. Center field, Stackhouse. Second out, tagging. Look at this effort. Jonathan Silverman taking this game seriously. Because he has a blonde waiting in the dugout, which may be a reason why he tagged and came off. Harlan Specter, the senator from Pennsylvania. Look at that. And the senator to third. Robert Wall to Garvey. But Lou Brock led this off of the home run. They got another on a sacrifice fly. Bill Cosby's team is down. Susie out on the field. Let's find her right now. Susie, where are you? Jonathan, a lot of the guys, especially Keith Hernandez, thought you might be a little crazy going with the bat instead of going with the girls. Hey, hey, unless it was Morgana, the kissing bandit, it just doesn't count. I, I'm from the old school, and she was a very fine, attractive lady. But she was no more All right, go get him. Okay. First stop. More action coming up in our celebrity all-star game brought to you by Network MCI. We'll be right back. Don't miss a minute of your favorite sports action. With ESPN Net to Go, Motorola's new sports receiver. Score updates every five minutes, plus ESPN's breaking news and info. Carry NFL, NBA, NHL, baseball, and college action wherever you go. Be in the know when you're on the go. The 
National Business Employment Weekly, the only publication that updates you weekly on top jobs available regionally and nationwide. All kinds of jobs, professional, managerial, technical, and you'll learn how to land one of those jobs. Get eight job-packed issues for just $35. Also get absolutely free the Job Search Guide. Call 800-292-1400. That's 800-292-1400. The National Business Employment Weekly. If you're not looking here, you're hardly looking. Did soccer discover America, or did America discover soccer? Either way, soccer is here in a big way, and it's here for good. The MLS on ESPN. The action continues with the Major League Soccer All-Star Game. Sunday at 5 p.m. on ESPN. The MLS on ESPN. Finally, America gets it. Welcome back to Philadelphia, the vet, the scene of our All-Star Celebrity Softball Game brought to you by Network MCI. We've added our own Harold Reynolds to this lineup today. He is a straight-up change for Chubby Checker, who was supposed to play and wasn't here. Country star Colin Ray is out in center field for the game. Recording artist Monica is around in right field. Valerie Ray Miller working as the short fielder in this game. There she is. She's out in shallow right field right now. George Foster has got third base covered. The single guy who has the blonde waiting, Jonathan Silverman. We got him out of the dugout to come back and play. Ron Howard's going to get a chance at second base and one of the game's greatest first basemen, maybe the greatest first baseman who ever played in the major leagues, Keith Hernandez. Lou Brock, who had the home run, is doing the right catching. And Kent DeColby. <laughs> Won't have any trouble pitching softball. Kent's the same way you pitched hardball. Same thing. Just go down low by the knees and let her rip. And he's ready to go. Jerry Stackhouse is going to be leading it off against Kent DeColby. <laughs> One behind him. Teak has not missed a thing. It's not the playground. Turn that hat around, man. This ain't the playground. We play big league ball. There you got it. That's the conversion from a basketball player to a major league baseball player right there. Just turn your hat around. Yeah. Bill Cosby's unhappy with the call. No, no, man, you don't call. This thing came down from here to here. What is the zone? Look at him. Tell me what the zone is. Look at him. knees are here. Look at him. knees are falling here. Look at him. Is that a lot of strike zone or what? Yes. Just like you hit the ball out of the park. I think Bill lost that battle. One on one. Oh. Jerry Stackhouse is a uh, fan of the Atlanta Braves now. Talking with him before the game, Barry Bonds, Albert Bell, a couple of his favorite players, but a Braves fan overall. Not bad to go with the winner. He's really cranked up. Whoa! He's got nothing, Ken. Come on now. No, no. Check the ball. Check the ball for spit. Check it for spit. Ken, you loading that up again? What now? What's he want now? No sandpaper. No files. Someone's firing. Let's play softball, huh? What's the chair? Let's play a little ball here. Cosby's stalling because the team's got nothing. Got about four strikes. Right? Blade on it. Got a razor blade on it. Hey, making a first. Two, two. Cosby does it every time he stops on his stall. Stackhouse wants one badly, doesn't he? That is a strikeout. There goes the bat. <laughs> Three tremendous cuts by the 76ers. Jerry Stackhouse, all for naught. And then the bat went flying. He's good to the bar. Down the left field line's got a shot at being caught as Grisham will be a fly you ball out two down. Be Our own Harold Reynolds. <laughs> we got a chance at a one-two-three inning here, which is absolutely unheard of. <laughs> Dick Allen. <laughs> Talk with former major leaguers, they'll tell you.
tell you, this guy. One of the greatest swings the game's ever had. Hit a ball as hard as anybody who's ever played in it. And Dick Allen, obviously a local favorite here in Philadelphia. A couple of former Phillies. Cosby's pointing out to left field where he wants it to go. He tried. Let me see your glasses. I'm sorry. Let me see your glasses. I'm sorry. Here, put these on. That's falling short. All right, now. You got it now. To Calvi against Allen. 292 lifetime hitter. He's got a base hit there. Reynolds. Dick Allen's on with a single. Steve Garvey. 83rd all time in home runs and 65th in RBIs. 1,308 runs batted in. Garvey with the Los Angeles Dodgers and San Diego Padres. Chance to get this inning over with. And they do. Good job by Kent DeCalvi. Gives up just one single and protects a 2 0 lead. Susie Culver's got the skipper with her. Susie. Bill, you've made more changes in one inning than Sparky Anderson did in his whole career. What's up? Well, I've had to. I've got nothing to work with, and I'm trying to find nothing that works. It's like you're trying to put some pressure on the pitcher, too. I mean, you think there's some. No, uh... Meat, Meat's doing fine. I just had to have Robin Roberts show him how to put a little spin on it because these guys are trying to knock the ball out of the park on him and that's not right for meatloaf there's no respect for him no funny business going on there on the mound no, is well, it? it's very very serious out here today because these guys are trying to get new jobs some of them don't have hit records very very serious gary Colin Ray. Oh. Entry artist star working against Meatloaf here. Jimmy Palmer has shortened his throw. He's moved into shortstop now. Larry Ball wanted to pitch. Meatloaf wouldn't let him. That'll be fouled off. Steve Garvey still down at first. Abe Lincoln the call. Back here at the vet, our celebrity all-star game brought to you by Network MCI. Continuing, Colin Ray, the country music star, he is going to get himself a base hit. Ray's on at first. Amy Esbeck knocked it down, couldn't get it to Garvey in time. One of the great defensive first basemen of all time in baseball, and a tremendous hit. That's just the way he hit the baseball. He's got a chance. Stackhouse going back to the wall. On leash is one. Colin Ray will stay at third base, but he shouldn't have. Now he won't. Ray scores. Hernandez goes all the way over to third base. Bill Cosby's wondering what's going on with his pitcher. Susie. Rob, we got ourselves a team. Oh, yeah, I think uh, definitely celebrity softball teams go. Uh, we're a killer. Looks like we got Bill Cosby and the guys a little rattled, I think. Uh, Cosby's in over his head, and I think he's starting to get it. I think he starts to know that uh, it's not his day out there. Any secret weapons lined up? You got a wand, Valerie! I'm sorry. Any, hmm? uh, any secret weapons? Uh, just fundamentals, which I don't think the uh, stars team uh, is uh, really up on. Uh, we just made it out. I think it's all the manager, Rob. I think it is. I think you put the team together and, uh, you know, you're starting to see the results. Gary, let's send it back to you. <laughs> he is an optimistic one. <laughs> Valerie Ray Miller, co-star Fox, is in the zone. Tim Russer. Okay. Here we go. Host of NBC's Meet the Press. He had a big day yesterday. Meet the Press was held right there at home plate. That's where they did the show from. He met Yogi Berra, one of his stars. Robert Wall over to Garvey. Russell's retired. Harold Ronald said he never thought he'd see the day when he'd be straight up deal for Chubby Checker. That's what happened today. Up to left field. That's I thought you were coming to hauled in. <laughs> Harold Reynolds is retired. Larry Boa moved into the outfield from shortstop, right. put it away. Another run has been added, though, and the Stars still looking to get on the board. I want you to know that that run was unearned. That was an unearned run. The customer is a big key in the repair. If you can't listen to customers, you've got no business being in a dealership. <laughs> 
but sometimes it takes a little extra effort. That's where I hear the noise. You've got to listen to the customer, get in the vehicle with the customer, drive it, whatever the case might be. Quality care standards is what they're called. Uh, we have a lot of competition out there. It's our obligation to do a better job, and that's what we're going to do. Quality care people, quality care standards at your Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealer. Four. Uh, we'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why spread satin is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. Glidden, a better way to paint. Up in heaven. Am I a fan of the senior tour? Absolutely. Chi Chi, Raymond, Murph. How can you not love those guys? Of course, being God, I love everyone. But answering prayers, forgiving sins, it must be hard to catch every event. Oh, not when you're all seeing it, is it? Plus, if I'm really strapped for time, I'll just rain an event out and watch it the following year. Any suggestions on uh, ESPN's coverage? Fewer blimp shots. I'm getting tired of watching things from above. Welcome back, everybody, to the vet as the Stripes have the 3-0 lead. And uh, there's the Philly Fanatic. This is a hot dog launcher. Rob Snyder, they're testing to find out whether or not they dare to put their manager in the outfield. So the Fanatic volunteered. Rob, how you doing? Can you see the hot dogs, Rob? Yeah! Right here! The Philly Fanatic... Decided on that catch, Snyder's good enough to stay. What? We want to remind you, Sunday Night Baseball coming up, the San Francisco Giants taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific. The game will be coming from Dodgers Stadium. It's baseball, and you'll be an American when the Giants take on the Dodgers. Great rivalry as the Giants struggling to get back in it in their division with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Mike Piazza, of course, leading the way there. We'll have it for you Sunday night. Churchill. Frank Skinner coming up. I think I've uh, met a new hero, and this is that man. Frank Skinner is a British comedian and a sports talk show host who is over here only for the celebrity softball game and the all-star game. He is a New York Mets fan. About three, four years ago, he came over to the States and went to a ball game for the first time. It happened to be a Mets game, and he fell in love with the team. He subscribed to their publications, he said, at the ballpark that day. Unbelievable. And he's back. And a delightful man, Frank Skinner. He gets a tape once a week of a Mets game sent to him through Stuttgart, <laughs> Germany. And he says they've only sent one game where they lost. That'll be handled that short. Frank Skinner is retired. Robert Wall coming up. Bill Cosby just claimed he's a crooked player and you need to bounce it over the plate on him. That's one of the reasons why, maybe. The snatch catch, George Foster. You want the match? Give me the match, right? Boy, the stars are struggling mightily. Hey, the cop, check his ball. Check the ball. Umpire, check the ball. Check the ball. Check the ball. gone. How could Boa make it up? Five pitches. Kent Colby's thinking about a comeback. And we'll be back for more of our celebrity all-star softball game at the Bet in Philadelphia in just a minute. This is about how your business can build new profit centers without bulldozing your budget. About looking bigger than you are. This is about call centers, people, and technology that can capture new customers, answer questions, and process orders 24 hours a day. And it's not just for the rich, the powerful, or the daring. Because there's a way you can get the help, hardware, software, and advanced toll-free service to create your call center. All you have to know is how. Network MCI. That's how. Yesterday, we went to my favorite place, Burger King. Mom and Dad had a special surprise waiting for me. It was Quasimodo. Now your kids can get all four puppets. From Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Just $1.99 each with any value meal. And then I got carried away just like Quasimodo. 
Quasimodo. Okay, maybe the last part didn't really happen. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Puppets, only at Burger King. Here comes the pitch. Take me out to the ball game. Okay. Take me out with the crowd. <laughs> Buy me some peanuts and some cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Uh. Coming up later on Sports Center, we will take in all the highlights in the Home Run Derby. There was an all-star game on Monday, but it was not in Philadelphia. Yet another twist at the Michael Irvin trial in Dallas. And is another all-pro headed for the courtroom? You know, you just get sick of people trying to sue you and make money. Our friend Dave drops in on the big show. Are you having a nice time at your gala? He'll help us take a look at the best plays from the first half of the season. For Keith Oberman, I'm Dan Patrick. We will see you on Sports Center at 1125 Eastern. umpire Bruce Martin has come over to tell us that the uh, entire team of the stars has now gone out to back up Meatloaf. He needs some help fielding. He told his skipper and everybody's out there. We got John Grisham now out here. Okay, here we go. We got 30 players out there. Come on, Susie. <laughs> Let's go. Play ball. Susie. Look at this. Got the knee brace on, got the bat ready, and taking some good cuts. I'm feeling the pressure, guys. Susie Culver, look at that. Susie, you got to hit it out. You can't run on that leg. Everybody making great defensive plays, but Abe gives it a... Oh, well, you know, at least if somebody had been on base, could have been a sack fly. We're going to put her back to work now. Get the Colby. Colby's done a heck of a job. How about a chance at a shutout? In this Liberty softball game, Meatloaf backs him off. The entire infield's moved way in. Right by Palmer. Stackhouse has been a busy man out there. Colby gets one of those rare hits. Six hits now have been picked up by the Stripes. Nice hit. And Pete Palladino will be coming to the plate. The lead vocalist of the Badleys. Meatloaf's got his entire team behind him, or at least they're out there. Robert Wall's done a pretty good job, though, at third base. Palladino's retired. Cosby congratulating him on making the out. Oh, that's me. Rob Snyder decides he's got a chance to hit. Huh? I know he's going to be uh, Saturday Night Live, a new show this year, NBC, this fall. <laughs> got a pretty good cut. All right. Felt good. Felt real good. That's where I wanted it to be. And, uh, you know, I, I feel good about it. Hi, uh, Mr. Garvey. I apologize for that hit. I'm really sorry. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Do it again. Right, right, right. I'll be good. Wow. That's your giant hit. So I'm going to take it off. All right. Okay, here we go. One out, baby. How are you? Skipper's got a hit off Meatloaf, apologized to Steve Garvey when he realized he was there. And here's Rob Fitzgerald. He's out! He's out! And a hit and ball trick at first base. Steve Garvey. We'll be back for more. See if the manager's head gets back in the game when we come back to Philadelphia. Bix, the 
original import, taste German beer at its finest. Bex, America's favorite German beer. Concentrate. Just concentrate. Think up the middle. This one's going right over the front desk. Introducing soft foam autograph bat and ball sets from Pizza Hut. Featuring some of your favorite Sorry. Major League players like Ken Griffey Jr. Football. Get one set for $5.99. I would say. I'll say. I'll say. Junior, bedtime. We've got a game tomorrow. Do I have to? Oh, man. Pizza Hut, you'll love the stuff we're made of. He did it. I can't believe I'm losing my hair back here. Like father, like son. Yeah, right. Look, if you want to regrow some hair, check this out. Rogaine? Don't you need a prescription? Not anymore. How's it work? Rogaine goes to the root of your hair and for some people gets it to grow. What have you got to lose? Nothing, I guess. Except more hair. That's been easy to use. <laughs> and it's starting to work. See, there's room for growth in every relationship. Rogaine. Medically proven to regrow hair. Good to be alive. Huh? Sorry, I, I was kind of getting close to home. Ken Tacalbi is pitching the shutout as the Stripes have a 3 0 lead over the Stars here in our celebrity All Star game. Want to remind you, baseball, triple A style, their All Star game is coming up Wednesday, 9 30 Eastern, 6 30 Pacific. It'll be on the deuce, the best of the up and coming stars in baseball. All 28 AAA teams will be represented. The top home run hitters and all three of the AAA leagues, members of the AL squad. Some great talent there. Wednesday night on the deuce, it'll be at Salt Lake City, Utah. Meatloaf coming to the plate. Oh! And taking all the way. The Stars. Oh! Robert Fitzgerald pitching here to Meatloaf. Right by Fitzgerald. Susie's got it. Over the throw. Yes. That is huge. It's you. Susie, you after a new contract or what? <laughs> Think ESPN will boost it a little bit now? And I loved it. Great play. Christopher Atkins. Pretty good swing right there. Susie, not quite. Got a chance though at first. Hernandez, nope. Wasn't on the bag. Peladino made the play on it. So Atkins is on. Jim Palmer will now stand in. Jimmy with the, the great numbers on the mound, if not at the plate. Turned around to Bill Cosby, a skipper a minute ago, and said, Keep it close and I'll win it for you. <laughs> a man of great confidence. The power, the hitting opportunity. See a number of the mascots around here during the game. They're here for the All Star game, representing the different teams. That's Gerald Palmer. Pulls that one. Crowd may get a souvenir here. Now, Palmer again. A souvenir. Fitzgerald to Palmer. Oh my gosh, she struck out. He may be fine for that for embarrassing the team. I have to talk to Bill Cosby about this swing. He forgot this wasn't the golf course by the looks of that. Erica Alexander from Living Single, the co star of the show on Fox. Atkins on at first base. Stars trying to find a way to score a run here. That's a ball. This off. Have they batted around? Rob Fitzgerald. Pitching here. 
No, no, quick. That's quick, a ball. Jerry, <laughs> it's not quick. It's not quick. It's not as strong, right? Oh, two, two. Okay, no, no, you have to Come on. I'm gonna give you a four. We should be winning this game. Says he again. No play at second. Just keep right on going. Atkins, Robin Roberts, the third was coaching. He let that go. And they got a run. Bill Cosby's on the board. I couldn't stay. He stole home. Now that's what I call softball. Bad sorrow day all over again. <laughs> John Barry, country music recording artist, standing in here with a runner at third, not by Foster at third base. But hey, they got a run. See you there. Indianapolis tomorrow, Cleveland uh, Thursday, Raleigh on uh, Saturday, and Charlotte on Sunday. See you there. Bored with your rider? Not seeing results fast enough? Then you need Nordic Track's new CTX. It's five ways better than an ordinary rider. One, better workout. CTX combines aerobics to strengthen your heart, stretching to increase flexibility, and muscle conditioning to shape and tone for a more complete workout. Two, burn more calories. CTX quickly elevates your heart to the fitness building zone where you burn maximum calories. Three, better cardiovascular conditioning. Only CTX strengthens and conditions your cardiovascular system by elevating your heart to the target heart rate zone. Four, superior toning. The overhead press and pull down develop your upper body and the leg curl and leg press shape and tone your legs. Five, more variety. CTX eliminates boredom from your workout with pressing, pulling, and exclusive overhead movements. Call now to order, or for more information, 1-800-851-8014. Get CTX for as low as $29.95 a month. Call now. It's 2,378 miles through four countries, two mountain ranges, and Europe's most breathtaking scenery. It's also one of the world's most difficult and challenging sporting events. This year, Miguel Indurain goes for his sixth consecutive win against his most formidable competition, including the course itself. The Tour de France, presented by Michelin. Tomorrow, 6 o'clock on ESPN2. Back here at the event, the celebrities and Hall of Famers, other former Major League players. Come on, me! Give me the meat! Do they have he was begging for field? a chance he to hit, and he's going to get the opportunity. Yeah, no, out there. Rob Fitzgerald. Here we go. We fight. I'm going to hit Uncle Sam in the head. Bill Cosby has just brought in a new player. May not matter here. He's out of there, but he got his at bat. Bill Cosby went over to the stands. Me. Didn't think he had enough people. He's got his entire team out there already. And brought in this young man. Just throw it to him. He'll throw you back. All right. Stand behind. Bill Cosby's decided Meatloaf needs some help. He wants another chance. Rob Fitzgerald's up again. Could be the first two outs of the inning. Tim Palmer unable to make the play. That doesn't count. God, actors get so upset. Just trying to show Lou how to beat out an infield single. He was out the first time. Now Bill Cosby's going Change back. Change the pitches, Lou Brock. Need a warm-up, sir. No warm-ups. Okay, here we go.
What'd you call that? Bruce Martin, home plate on Buck. What do you mean? Left ball was Meat right low. there. Right there. What are you talking? And Cosby threw it between the legs of the umpire cleaning the plate. Meatloaf did it. Yeah, really good no, he didn't. Get out. He's out. He's so out. He's so Meatloaf out of the game. His own manager. A couple of innings too late, but thank you. He's got to go. It'll work. Right back in pitcher low. You still got the Mariner and Weasley on there helping the White get third. Strike trying to fill on their knees. Still Lou Brock who hit a home run. Oh! What net? Now Meatloaf's back and Cosby's arguing. You must have been. Now Lou Brock coming to the plate and. Bill Cosby wants to pitch I to him. I should take him out of here. I'm just going to stay alive. Whatever you want to do, stop Watch out here. And I'm right behind you. Harvey. Cosby. Right on going. We never forget. Okay. Now they're showboating and they're losing. Three out. Cosby, you're down three to one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is about the virtual office, about breaking the chains, stretching the boundaries, and making the world your workplace. About taking your business everywhere and anywhere. About paging, laptops, cell phones, the internet, and conferencing. And it's not conversation or speculation. This is about how one company can give you the help, hardware, and software to make your virtual office a reality. This is about how far you can go once you know how. Network MCI, that's how. Introducing the Michelin X1 with a six-year unlimited mileage tread life warranty. It gives you better wet traction than any rain tire, plus control in any driving condition. After all, it hasn't rained that much in years. Announcing special savings on Armor All Waterproofing Sealer. Now for only $7.99 a gallon, you can protect the wood brick and concrete around your house but hurry this armor all waterproofing sealer special is for a limited time only they'll take to the streets in canada for the molson indy toronto sunday on abc sports Coming up later on Sports Center, we will take in all the highlights in the Home Run Derby. There was an all-star game on Monday, but it was not in Philadelphia. Yet another twist at the Michael Irvin trial in Dallas. And is another all-pro headed for the courtroom? You know, you just get sick of people trying to sue you and make money. Our friend Dave drops in on the big show. Are you having a nice time at your gala? He'll help us take a look at the best plays from the first half of the season. For Keith Oberman, I'm Dan Patrick. We will see you on Sports Center at 11.25 Eastern. All-Star Celebrity Softball is presented by Network MCI. How to get modern communications technology working for your business. And in part by Glidden, the company that makes the world a colorful place. Take a look as the Stripes have the 3-1 lead. That shot from the Budweiser blimp looking down at the vet here in Philadelphia. It's high above it, but inside is our own Susie Culver. Susie. Yeah, with Rob Fitzgerald, I think you made a little history. The first guy who ever made two outs at the beginning of an well, inning. Well, that's a misnomer. I did not make two outs. I got a base hit. They just didn't want me to get on first. All the actors started crying. Guys with series crying. I mean, that's a little pathetic. You got to give us the patent in line because every time anybody gets a hit on this team, the first thing they do is run up to you and... Say, I love you, man. Getting old? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a 3-1 lead for the Stripes over the Stars. Opportunity here for John Stewart. He's the MTV jock who's been doing the catching in this game. Finally getting an opportunity at the plate. Keith Hernandez ranging. Look at the coverage. Abe says out. Oh, and he's honest. He's wrong, but he's honest. Dave. The words of 
meatloaf. But what has he done for me lately? Well, I was going to... Uh, Instant replay was not around when Abe was honest. If it had been, maybe the nickname never would have stuck. Because on this play, he's clearly wrong. <laughs> but he is president, so he wins. There is no respect here. That was the Gettysburg Address that just fell out of his hat. Just ruined a perfectly good man's reputation. That's right. <laughs> ruined Abraham Lincoln's reputation for truth and honesty. Hello. Amy Yazbek, co-star of the NBC okay, comedy Wings. Go. Rob Fitzgerald to stay on the pitch here for hey, the stripes. Get it on the park. Amy. Fitzgerald. Hernandez. And there's somebody who appreciates Abe. That's, that's working the team. Did everybody back? There are two down. Bill Cosby's making sure everybody got a chance to hit here. John Grisham stands in. One last chance. With the stars down by two and two down. Oh. Bill Cosby is down to his last opportunity of managing here. George Foster will give him another chance. Bill's looking for help. Cosby's going to the crowd. Pick me, pick me. Go down and back. Now he's going to take the second fan out of the stands. The unknown hero. A home run here would tie this game up. Can he do it? Look at the stance. Designated better. Ball one. What an opportunity to become a hero. son. He, we, we take his blood. No, no, is this a kid I pulled out of the stands? Could he get one? The young man's charging. He does. Hit first slide into first. From the stands to stardom. Watch this young man keeping the hopes alive of the stars. And what an effort at first base. And his mother will think so, and she has to put the mercuric home on his knees when he gets home. Robert Wall up. Robert Wall trying to keep this game alive. It's in there. One run will score. The young man from the stands is on his way to third. He's the tying run. He's coming around. This could tie the game. He's in. He's in. And for the game winner, no out at the plate. I was going second. No, you're going to second. Yeah. Time to throw. Time to throw. Dead ball. We have a 3-3 game. And Marty Howe, where did he come from? Who is he? Why is he playing? He scored the run. He scored the run. That has made Marty come over here, Marty. All right. Marty, Marty, come on over here. Stand right up here. This is Marty Howe. Where are you from? West Rick, New Jersey. And what were you doing here today? I was just came, I just came to watch this and like the home run derby and all. Do you believe you are now a national hero? No. You are. You have scored the tying run in this game. What do you think about that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool? Okay, your skipper right there. Mr. Cosby, go over there and thank him. Thank you. Thanks. Marty Howe, a new hero, has been born. Bill Cosby went to get him. He can't even get to his manager. They the press is all over it. Steve Garvey. Oh. A 3-3 game and two down. There were two down before that last out. <laughs> Garvey. This is the last half inning. 
a last chance for the Stars. The game's tied at three. It'll end that way unless Garvey can keep it alive. And he does. The Stars have won this game over the Stripes 4-3. And Bill Cosby, who looked like he had no chance in managing the first three innings of this game, has gone to his deep bench and pulled this game out. Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame is in theaters. Will today be the day? Be ready to fly. And it looks like everybody's getting into the act with the puppets from Burger King. Don't thank me. Thank Quasimodo. Your kids can collect all four, only $1.99 each, with any value meal. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Puppets, only at Burger King. You're not going to go home and leave this half finished, are you? I got six days, Dad. We'll make it. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why Spread House paint is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. I guess you'll be going back early, then. I thought I might stick around for a few days. All right. Glidden, a better way to paint. But don't expect me to cook for you. <laughs> Fluff's dependable. He knows what to expect from Fluff. Every no Fluff surprises. knows Peter inside and out, his emotions, his, his game. If you walked up to Fluff and said, what's Peter going to hit in this situation, he could tell you what club he's going to hit. No surprises. Fluff been there forever. Some people just know how to fly. They fly a northwest, I'll tell you why. Some people just know how to fly. Our all-star celebrity softball game has been won by the Stars over the Stripes 4-3. Susie Culver has got the two skippers with her right now. Susie? Rob, tough loss, final at bat. You know, you know I feel for you. Oh, well, you know, I, I felt that, um, you know, uh, we were cheated, basically. I feel like uh, Mr. Cosby stole it from us. And, uh, you know, he's got to live with himself. Protest? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. But, you know, the important thing is uh, I got to take a lot of um, Phillies memorabilia out of their locker room. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Bill? Hey. Congratulations. Looks like the strategy paid off. Yeah, well, you had to pull somebody out of the stands who was focused. These guys were trying to knock it out of the ballpark. So you grab one of these little kids from Philadelphia, and all he knows from the Little League is just meet the ball. I told him to hit it to you because I didn't know if you were lucky on that first one. I wanted to oh, make you a hero man. or a goat. That was a wonderful catch you made. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Guys, congratulations. But upper Derby people cannot beat city people. We got a Philly thing going on. Hello. Gary? Susie, thanks very much. The Stars have won it by a score of 4-3 in our All-Star Celebrity Softball game. Coming up next, Sports Center here on ESPN. This is Gary Thorne for Susie Culver and all of our crew. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed meeting the new national hero, Marty Howe. Out of the stands, Bill Cosby got him and he was the difference. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Stay tuned. Sports Center is next. Coming up on SportsCenter, there is a storm front on the horizon, but don't be alarmed. Shaq's just learned a new word. We plan to exercise the genuinely on all these teams. For those who don't know what the genuinely means, it means to exercise domination. How about demolition? No, not that demolition. We've got all the all-star festivities, as well as an all-new manager. Two All England Finals, an All Pro Trial. We've even got Super Mario and Ricola. So try to maintain your concentration, even in the most difficult of circumstances. But keep your head up because you never know what you might run into on Sports Center. Know the feeling. Hello and welcome from World Headquarters. It's the big show, and alongside my tag team partner Dan Patrick, I'm Keith Olbermann. Coming up on Sports Center, the Marlins are perkin with a new skipper. The streaker is gone, but the Wimbledon competition continues. And what do David Letterman and the Detroit Tigers have in common? But first, for those of you who don't like home runs.
Major League Baseball held its home run derby Monday afternoon as part of the All-Star Game festivities. This would be a different event than the other home run derby, which started on March 31st of this year in Seattle on opening night of the regular seasons. Here are the highlights. Please stand well back of your television. It's all of them guys, except the ones who bagged out at the last minute. Greg Vaughn, you're fired. Ofer, Gary Sheffield, you're fired. But Jay Buhner hit the ball real hard. Six in round one. Second deck. None of these actually count, by the way. Home run leader Brady Anderson advanced to round two. Five home runs. Brady? That might be the nervous, most nervous I've ever been in a batter's box ever. Well, batting practice is okay, but when you have to do the home running contest, I think I think that's the only time I'm nervous. They give Peace a chance. Bonds didn't look nervous. Barry unloaded four homers in the first round, and then it was Mark McGuire's turn. You guys keep in score at home here. <laughs> and those weren't his longest in the first round. McGuire from way downtown. Bang. 460 feet well into the upper deck. Round two started like round one ended. Bond second deck. Ninth homer of the round would go into the upper deck. This is deep, and I don't think it's terrible. Somehow, home run cliches don't seem to do this justice. Mark? I don't want to know the answer to that. The answer, in fact, is no. Bonds hits 10 homers in round two. He's up to like a million. Barry? Take a bite. McGuire's turn, round two. It's deep, and I don't think it's terrible. Oh, but listen to what, what we hear now. Listen. <laughs> Shot. There's a plane up there. Look out! Gone! That stands one. Showdown round three is Bonds versus McGuire. Bay Area Central. McGuire takes this one deep. Hit the ball real hard. Bonds, meanwhile, in full concentration, or he's asleep. One of the two. That'll do it. That'll do it. Barry Bonds, without getting it out, has struck <laughs> three home runs, and Mark McGuire just threw the towel. So Bonds wins the individual competition, but here's a lesson to you for home run fans. Those who hit the most home runs in an individual game, his team lost. The American League won this thing. 59 home runs, the most in any major league game since, like, last week. Ten guys go yard 59 times, and nobody gets knocked down. Later, our breakdown segment, home runs in the regular season. Dan? It came as no surprise, not even to Renee Latchman when he was fired Sunday. The surprise came in the form of his replacement. On Monday, the Marlins named 47-year-old John Bowles as their new skipper. Bowles had been the team's vice president of player development, but last managed 10 years ago in AAA. We need to get, uh, to get the hitting going. We, we haven't scored enough runs. I mean, that's in a nutshell. And in this business, it, it's not any secret. It's not any mystical uh, formula as to how you win baseball games. You prevent the big inning on defense, and you advance runners on offense. And so we have to do that. We have to execute. Here's his resume. Over the past nine years, he has worked in the front office of the Marlins, Expos, and Royals. It was in Montreal where Bowles worked for the Marlins' current GM, Dave Dombrowski. Bowles will make his debut at home Thursday against world champion Braves. The Marlins sent three players to the All-Star game, pitchers Kevin Brown and Al Leiter and outfielder Gary Sheffield. But both Brown and Leiter admitted they really didn't know too much about their new skipper. For more quotes, notes, and anecdotes from the All-Star Game, let's join Carl Ravage and Peter Gammons attached to Philadelphia. Dan, thank you, and welcome, everyone, to Philadelphia's side of this season's All-Star Game, Tuesday night, 829 first pitch. Before we get to the All-Star Game, let's look at the Marlins situation. New manager now, John Bowles. Hasn't managed in 10 years. They say he's going to be a strict disciplinarian. He hasn't ever disciplined major league players. I find this it reeks of something that's done way above the baseball people. And I'll tell you, talking to players about this today, discipline requires a lot of respect. If you haven't been in uniform, but down to your players, it's going to be very difficult to get them. John Bowles takes over as manager of the Florida Marlins, replacing Renee Latchman. One of the situations I'd like to discuss here at the All-Star Game, of course, is weather. Monday, it rained in the morning. It did not cool temperatures a bit by the afternoon. Down on the field at Veterans Stadium, temperatures got up to about 125 degrees. 
Weather for Tuesday night's All-Star Game is supposed to be in the 70s, and that is much better, though we are supposed to get a little bit of rain on Tuesday. Ideal hitting conditions for this entire season has been ideal for hitting conditions. Dave Campbell is down on the field. He starts his news of the day off with a pitching situation. To the surprise of absolutely no one, National League manager Bobby Cox named 14-game winner John Smoltz to start for his team. A little tougher decision for Mike Hargrove, but he picked his own Charles Nagy over the Yankees' Andy Pettit. One surprise, though, controversial choice, Lance Johnson will start in center field for the National League and lead off. He's the only true center fielder that, uh, that made the ball club. I wanted to make sure that we got one one on there and um, that's no reflection on Barry Bonds at all because he's willing to play center and I talked to him this morning about it and he can very well play center probably as good as anybody around. 1995 National League MVP Barry Larkin bat second with three-time MVP Barry Bonds hitting third. Fred McGriff struggled in June but has hit the ball hard the past six games. National League leading vote getter Mike Piazza will catch and Dante Bichette bat six and will play right. Chipper Jones starts in the place of the injured Matt Williams. Craig Biggio will hit eighth and play second, and John Smoltz will bat ninth. Jones is in his first All-Star game. I'm just flabbergasted, first of all, to, to make the team, you know, because, you know, I still think Matt, Ken Cam, and Eddie, I mean, those are the guys that I look up to as the third baseman, they're the best third baseman in the league, and they deserve to be here as well. One of baseball's top number one hitters, Kenny Lofton, leads off for the American League. Wade Box hit second, and if Robbie Alomar's injured finger is okay, he'll bat third, but he did miss Monday's workout. If Alomar can't go, the major's leading hitter, Chuck Knobloch, will start, but Hargrove says that could alter his batting order. Frank Thomas has a sprained foot. He pulled out of the home run hitting contest, but figures to start on Tuesday. Albert Bell has been battling a slump, but he'll hit fifth. Pudge Rodriguez bats six and catches. Cal Ripken makes his 14th appearance at shortstop, and Brady Anderson, with a major league leading 30 home runs, will bat eight. Brady Anderson, I guess, hit his 30th last night, and uh, it, I think it says a lot about your lineup when you can have a guy that's hit 30 home runs hitting eighth in it for you. Also on the injury front, Boston's Mo Vaughn has a torn ligament in the middle finger on his right hand. He skipped the home run contest and probably will only get one at bat tomorrow. While Atlanta's Greg Maddox fouled a bun off his toe yesterday, split the nail. I doubt very seriously if he'll pitch. From Philadelphia at the All-Star Game, Dave Campbell, ESPN. Dave, thank you. Very different situation between the American and National League. The American League goes with four starters, the rest relievers, the National League, seven starters, and three stoppers. Much more on the pitching. 1996, later on on Sports Center from Peter Gammons. That'll do it from Philadelphia. Now let's go back to Sports Center and keep. Carl, thank you. Baseball's home run derby was Monday. Basketball's free agent derby is Tuesday. That's when the lid comes off on player moves noon Tuesday amid frenzied rumors of Shaq signing with or being traded to the Lakers. The Washington Bullets managed to legally jump the gun yesterday by taking out a half-page ad in the Washington Post, Post rather, which included a letter from owner Abe Poland saying how much they want to re-sign Juwan Howard and promised that the team would match any fan contributions to Howard's charitable foundation. The Dream Team figures into all this stuff, too. They're in Phoenix, which means Charles Barkley is in Phoenix. And as David Aldridge reports, Charles has more on his mind than just the question of whether or not he's staying in Phoenix. It's court TV time again. With less than 24 hours to go before the biggest group of free agents in NBA history is let loose upon the league, one man who's under contract, Charles Barkley, was the center of attention again on the U.S. men's Olympic basketball team. This time, it was because of an incident in a Cleveland bar late Saturday night in which a patron and Barkley exchanged punches. I'm only going to win so many bar fights. Barkley and fellow Olympian Reggie Miller were in the basement, a nightclub in Cleveland's flat section of town, when a man approached Barkley around 1.30 a.m. Although Miller and Barkley had security with them to prevent just such an incident from occurring, words were exchanged and fists soon flew. My security guards say he hit me and I filed a complaint against him. Well, Reggie, sir, you well, whatever, man. You know, you just get sick of people trying to sue you and make money. But I'm never going to settle or whatever happens, happens. I'm glad, you know, I was there to witness what he goes through. Um, it's unfortunate because of who he is, people try and take advantage of him. But Tuesday, most everyone in the league will forget about Barkley's troubles. For at noon on Tuesday, the great stampede of free agents begins. Millions will ultimately flow the way of Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller, Alonzo Mourning, and Jawan Howard. 
And what of Shaquille O'Neal, who can either write his ticket to Los Angeles or remain king of Orlando? I don't know much about the market, but I know if uh, if a BM costs 32 and the Benz has cost 37, period. So if Morning's going to get 15. Then. <laughs> For the league's free agents, Tuesday is Independence Day. A movie of the same name grossed more than $83 million over the weekend. The players who are fortunate enough to be free agents now are hoping to do a little better. In Phoenix, I'm David Aldridge, ESPN. This just in, the Lakers have signed their big man in the middle. That would be Chick Hearn. The Lakers veteran Chicky Baby play-by-play -play man has re-signed for another year, thus getting the chance to continue his streak of having announced 2,870 street games. Still to come on the big show, we turn the stage over to the king of late-night TV. David Letterman joins us for his take on the first half of the baseball season. It's his top ten list. Also on the menu, there is a change in the weather. And at the top of the Tour de France, we will also bring you the comeback of umpire Eric Gregg, who returns with a new look and outlook. And in Dallas at the Michael Irvin trial, did police do their job in handling the evidence? This is Sports Center. This is the story of the man in black, and the Goodrich team keeps his car on track. You know their secret's consistency, it's all in the list. And if it takes all night, they'll get it done right. Turn to your GM Goodrich service team for consistency and attention to detail. Their tools, training, equipment, and genuine GM parts let you run with the winner. To build the perfect ride, use a checklist as your guide. And always keep the customer satisfied. This summer, make more of yourself. Doug, your clone. And yes. get more. Two. Like in me. Three. Hi. And more. I'd like you to be four. Out of life. We made a copy. Of a copy, it's not quite as sharp as the original. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. What is going on with you? And Andy McDowell. What happened? Multiplicity. Nobody has sex with my wife but me. Rated PG-13. Special sneak preview Sunday night. Pure performance. Zostrix Sports. New from Zostrix. The topical pain reliever doctors prescribe most. The purest capsaicin you can get. Zostrix Sports. Relieves joint pains, muscle aches. Don't play hurt. Zostrix Sports. Outperforms pain. You extend your dialing finger and dial... 1-800-COLLECT! And why do we dial 1-800-COLLECT instead of zero? To save people up to 44%. What if your dialing finger is injured? You may use an alternate finger and still save. 1-800-COLLECT. Learn it, use it, save up to 44%. Where's everybody going? The Ace Independence Day sale. Where you'll find help on all your summer hardware needs at great All-American Savings. Hurry in. It's gonna be big. Sports Center is brought to you by Ace Hardware. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. And by 1-800-COLLECT, the way to save on collect calls. The Wimbledon that would not die is finally over. The rain-delayed women's and mixed doubles finals were finally completed. No streakers, no charge to get in, free admission even to the Royal Box. The news, Martina Hingis paired with Helena Sokova, seeking to become the youngest champ of any kind in Wimbledon history. First set against... Uh, Meredith McGrath and Harrison Nyland. The Sokova wrapped winner down the line, 1-1 one, one after two sets. So here's match point. I'll save you the suspense. Hingis and Sokova win. Hingis, 15 years, 282 days, three days younger than Lottie Dodd was when she won the women's singles in 1887, which means Lottie is 124 right now. In the mixed doubles final, Marissa Nyland again, serving with uh, Cyril Suk, playing alongside his sister, Helena Sokova. And it's brother and sister winning in that one. First time since 91, no American won any of the Wimbledon titles. Last month, National League umpire Eric Gregg checked into the Duke University Diet and Fitness Center with one big goal, to lose 50 pounds. Gregg became concerned with his health following the tragic death of his friend and fellow umpire John McSherry. This was very difficult because I'm from the old school where we'd eat whatever we wanted and eat after the game and all the fast foods and things like that. But the most important thing was for me is my boss, Mr. Coleman, and my attorney, Richie Phillips. They gave me the time off with pay, the chance to go get my life in order. And it really, really saved me. Well, Eric Gregg is set to return to work this weekend in Cincinnati at Riverfront Stadium, the city and the site where John McSherry collapsed and died on opening day. Keith? After the long weekend, the Michael Irvin trial continued with the first murmurs about the second and possibly still wilder trial, the one of the now ex-cop who allegedly tried to get Irvin killed. 
but only after the ex-cop lawyer said Monday Irvin had threatened to hurt the ex-cop's girlfriend. Mark Schwartz reports now from Dallas on the trial ahead and the one that's already underway. Michael Irvin was attentive but subdued during this, the third day of testimony. He did not take notes. Irvin's day began with quite a jolt when he was subpoenaed as a witness by the attorney of Johnny Hernandez. That's the ex-Dallas cop charged with trying to arrange to have Irvin killed. Hernandez attorney John Reed explains. He is a part of it. I don't know if it's a key, but he's a part of it. I mean, he's part of the problem, and that's why my client's been arrested. Reed also told me, quote, Irvin started all of this with his threats of serious bodily harm and death to my client, Hernandez, and his girlfriend, Rochelle Smith. As it turns out, Irvin's subpoena was later recalled, and Hernandez was unsuccessful in getting his bail reduced from its current $252,500. Two more Irving police officers took the stand to testify about the night of March 4th, including Jonathan Plunkett, who says that he and another officer drew guns shortly after entering the hotel room because, quote, just because Irvin is a celebrity doesn't mean he won't pull a gun or do something crazy, unquote. Plunkett also described Irvin's eyes as being bloodshot and glassy and suggested that he was under the influence of marijuana that night, though not under the influence of cocaine. Well, defense attorney Don Godwin pressed Plunkett, wondering why, if the cops thought Irvin was intoxicated, would they allow him to leave the scene in his white Mercedes, and why would they not administer a field sobriety test? The defense also focused on how police handled the physical evidence, accusing officers of violating procedure, not preserving fingerprints, not wearing rubber gloves, and thus contaminating evidence. And a member of the urban defense team told me that Michael did spend the holiday weekend with his wife, Sandy. Though to this point, we have seen no urban family members inside the courtroom, and there's not been any cowboy anywhere in sight. Reporting from Dallas, I'm Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Meanwhile, a trial date of August 5th is being bandied about for the ex-officer, Johnny Hernandez. And Terry Glenn will get his first court appearance before he plays his first NFL game. The Pat's top pick out of Ohio State was charged with failure to control his car and driving with a suspended license. After the receiver slammed into a tree in Columbus, Ohio over the weekend, he and his passenger were slightly injured. Alcohol was not involved. Yeah. Still to be served from the Big Show menu, he has had NASCAR's dream team behind him for the past 10 years. And now the men behind Dale Earnhardt are looking to expand their horizons. John Kernan will explain from the fast lane. Also on the way, it's a star-studded affair at the vet. We will go celebrity snooping at the all-star venue. The whiff, that Jerry Stackhouse. Oh, we'll be showing that one over and over during NBA season. Our breakdown segment will show you every home run hit during the first half of the season, or at least the first 2,700. ESPN, the leader in sports broadcasting, presents the Total Sports Video Library. Featuring over 80 action-packed titles, including the greatest moments in sports history, informative how-to videos from renowned experts, and the funniest bloopers ever made. Whatever your sport, ESPN Home Video has got what you need. Available at Wegmans Home Video and at Fred Meyer. What's the right grip feel like? Should you use the same club on every chip shot? The answers are in Golf Digest. No matter how well you play, you'll find tips and advice that will dramatically improve your game. Guaranteed. Want to know where the slot is at the top of your backswing? Or if you're good enough to carry a four iron? Subscribe to Golf Digest. Twelve issues are only $19.77. You'll also get our video. Hit it longer and straighter. Free. Call 800-228-6000. That's 800-228-6000. The best of the Olympic trials. A look back at the greatest triumphs and most memorable moments. The U.S. Olympic trials. Call to glory. Highlights continue with swimming, diving, and boxing. Tomorrow at 9 on ESPN. Well, the Colts know if you have a millionaire quarterback throwing passes, you'd better have a millionaire receiver catching them. Marvin Harrison, the 19th pick overall, is in camp. $5.8 million over five years. Colts became the third team to sign their number one pick. Chiefs signed a pair of running backs from the World League. 
Saran Stacy scored seven touchdowns, led the World League with 780 yards rushing. They also signed Kerry Richardson. How about the Giants? They re-signed two of their own. Wide receiver Arthur Marshall, an unrestricted free agent, caught 17 passes last season. He also returned 12 punts. Giants also re-signed defensive end Michael Strahan, the restricted free agent, led the Giants with seven and a half sacks and 15 starts last season. That's the NFL news we have for the moment. It did not snow in Colorado on the 8th of July. It did not snow in Alaska on the 8th of July. It did not even snow in Bristol, Connecticut on the 8th of July. During the Tour de France on the 8th of July, during the Tour de France, it snowed. Stage 9 supposed to be to Sestriere, Italy, but there was a blip and blizzard on Col de la Saran Mountain. Mon Dieu, they said, Gianluca Paliuca. 60 mile an hour winds on the second mountain forced officials to shorten the race to just 28 miles. Gee, it's snowing. Two big climbs eliminated, so they got into team cars and drove this stage of the tour. No, no, no. Finally, the defending champ Miguel Indurain in the far left in white and blue leads the charge. He finished fifth in this one. The winner, Denmark's Bjarne Ries, made a solo breakaway and will get the kiss off the glass, even though he looks like Lon Chaney as the Phantom of the Opera. Thank you. After the cavort, Reese said it was cold out there. LeBlanc second, Udo Boltz was sixth. Yesterday's winner, Evgeny Berzan, placed 14th. Top American, George Hincapie, 130th. Reese takes the lead from Berzan by 40 seconds with just, what, six, seven months to go? Indurain sinks to eighth. Zula is in 13th. George Hincapie, 132nd. And Dick Trickle, 206th. Sterling Marlin won Saturday's Rain Short and Pepsi 400. He was asked if winning the abbreviated race would require an asterisk in the record books. Marlin responded, I don't care. The winner's check is going to be the same. For more on the NASCAR scene, including the teamwork of Winston Point's leader Dale Earnhardt, here's John Kernan from the Fast Lane. The brand new Texas Motor Speedway plans a news conference this Thursday, presumably to announce a NASCAR Winston Cup date for next season. Bruton Smith, whose Speedway Motorsports Incorporated owns the track, along with the Charlotte Motor Speedway and several others, will not comment. But it is believed he will move the spring North Wilkesboro date to the Texas track, with the race held on April 6th. There's also the possibility that the Texas track will receive two Winston Cup dates for 1997. Last week, NASCAR President Bill France Jr. said to expect an announcement within the next couple of weeks concerning the growth of the sport. Here is Dale Earnhardt taking the checkered flag and winning the Pure Leader 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Career victory number 70. Richard Childress's racing team had fielded the dominant car on the track over the last 10 years. But the emergence of the three-car Hendrick squad has forced Childress to go to a multi-car setup. Childress will add a second car to his stable next season with NASCAR truck champion Mike Skinner as the driver. Childress says they needed to add another team just to increase the resources from which to draw. He and Dale Earnhardt have won six Winston Cup championships together. The dominoes have begun to fall in the driver changes category. Kyle Petty is leaving the Sabco team after this season. He says he'll wait about a month before deciding where to go. Sabco has not yet named a replacement for Petty. Scott Goodyear, who fractured several vertebrae in a crash during practice at Brazil in March, returns to racing action this weekend at Toronto. And drag racing legend Don the Snake Prudhomme, who fields top fuel cars for Larry Dixon, says he hopes to put together a funny car team for next season. Prudhomme, who won four funny car championships in the mid-70s, says he hopes to find a sponsor to provide financial support in the next couple of weeks. From the Fast Lane, John Kernan, ESPN. The Fast Lane is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. We keep America running. Still ahead of the big show, Trenton makes the world takes the double A All-Star game in Trenton, New Jersey. A mascot named Boomer. Okay. And remember when baseball used to have pitchers? We'll try to find out where they all went. Where does Napa keep over 200,000 different parts? Right up here. Now remember, your belt tension on this is critical. What kind of car is it? Well, I'll sell you all the struts you want, but I wouldn't recommend putting them in without the right tools. I'm sure we have it. Okay, is it a 77 or a 78? Because they changed the carburetor in 78. Actually, that's not a stupid question at all. I know what it used to be. You don't stay at Napa long handing out the wrong answers, and I'm not planning on going anywhere. We keep America running. Fred Engel just bought fertilizer for the women's gymnastics team. The Garcias got a new love seat for America's boxers. Deborah Bishop just bought five dresses for the U.S. decathlon team. 
And Tony Johnson, a new garden hose for the U.S. mountain bikers. When you use your Visa card, Visa will make a donation to help all our Olympic hopefuls go for the gold. Like Jerry Graff, who picked out this new aquarium for the synchronized swimmers. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Concentrate. Just concentrate. Think up the middle. This one's going right over the front desk. Introducing soft foam autograph bat and ball sets from Pizza Hut. Featuring some of your favorite Sorry. Major League players like Ken Griffey Jr. Football. Get one set for $5.99. I'll say. I'll say. Junior, bedtime. We've got a game tomorrow. Do I have to? Oh, man. Pizza Hut, you'll love the stuff we're made of. He did it. Hi, this is Chris Myers in Los Angeles. Join me on Tuesday. We'll go up close with Tampa Bay Bucks head coach Tony Dungy. Why did it take so long for him to become a head coach of the NFL, and how long will it take before the Bucks are back in the playoffs? The city of Cleveland is considering doing something to the now vacant Cleveland Stadium that many of its critics had suggested for years. They want to sink it in Lake Erie. So reported the Wall Street Journal, the idea is that piling the rubble of the longtime home of the Indians and Browns in the lake would create the largest artificial freshwater reef in the world. No truth to rumors that Cleveland is considering inviting Art Modell to be in the stadium if and when they push it into the drink. From Cleveland to Trenton for the AA All-Star Game. And, you know, we always have a lot of fun with this competition, but look at what happens. Oh, uh, all the humanity! Oh, God. Yes, AA All-Stars. The NL affiliates leading 1-0 when Portland Sea Dog Todd Dunwoody, the Florida Marlin prospect, hits one release rotation splash off Calvin Maduro, 2-0 National. Trenton Thunder Todd Carey from the hometown team. Boston Red Sox, that's Vladimir Guerrero, supposedly the best outfielding prospect in the minors. I don't think so. Carey gets a triple. The AL is trailing two to one. They'd later tie the game at two. And then at the top of the sixth, the game is still tied at two. New Haven Raven, Todd Helton, first round draft choice last year. It's deep and I don't think it's playable. Despite the optical parallax illusion there, it certainly was a fair ball. That was not the foul ball. 3-2 NL, they win 6-2. Todd Helton said, I hope they have film on that one. First time NL AA farmhands have beaten the AL squad since 93, record 83-69 in the house. Todd Dunwoody, the MVP, he done hit the ball real hard. And the way the Marlins are hitting, maybe they should call him up now. Baseball exploded during the first half of the season, producing a gluttony of offensive stars and questions. Is it the balls, the bats, the ballparks, or simply the bad pitching? Carl Ravitch rejoins us from Philadelphia for more on the state of pitching, a state that has seceded from the Union. Dan, thank you very much. Back in Philadelphia. Back in Philadelphia for the first time since 1976, the All-Star Game. That year, the American League scored one run. Well, good luck to John Smoltz and the rest of those guys trying to keep that line up in one run. Well, I don't think there's any question that the hitters are much better than they were 20 years ago, but let's face it, the pitching is nowhere near as good. I think we've become the aluminum bat nation. <laughs> Roger Pavlik was named to the All-Star team with a 5.15 ERA. And at the time, there were only six starting pitchers in the entire American League with ERAs under four. In comparison, the year the D.H. started, 1973, there were only seven pitchers in all the majors who got 25 starts and were over four. This year, the entire entourage of American League starters has compiled an ERA over five. In one eight-day period this season, the record for most runs per game was shattered three times. The hitters are bigger and stronger now than they've ever been. Uh, I do believe that the ball is probably a little bit livelier than it's been in the past, and uh, and the strike zone's not very big. You combine all those things, and it makes for uh, uh, a pitcher's nightmare. For 30 years, Greg Maddox's lifetime, the evolution of the game has essentially been anti-pitcher. They lowered the bounds, they lowered and shortened the fences. All the new ballparks are not only home run exhibition halls, but have virtually no foul territory, which is another two or three outs a game. The strike zone has gone from the knees to the armpits to the knees to below the belt, which constantly puts batters in 2-0, and 3-1 hitters count. They need to look at some real concrete rule changes that can help maybe, uh, you know, from a pitcher's standpoint. 
I think the umpires have made an effort to try and do something, but it's, it's very hard to do. I mean, you're talking about guys that have set their strike zones for 20, 25 years. The roots of the pitching decline run far deeper than Major League ballpark or strike zones. Many feel that it's an evolutionary process that goes back more than 20 years. Kids don't play as much baseball. They don't throw as much as they once did. Perhaps even more important, 25 years ago, there was the introduction of the aluminum bat and its gradual impact on pitchers and hitters. It's hard to throw a ball by a guy swinging a 34-inch, 29-ounce aluminum bat, no matter how good a fastball you have. Not only is the, the fear of contact a big problem, the lack of velocity is a big problem, too. Uh, there isn't as much velocity in baseball now as there was 25, 30 years ago. And the aluminum bat is the problem. Because there, as a youngster growing up, there is no reward for throwing hard. Because you can't throw it by them. We go out recruiting, we put a gun up, we see a kid throwing 85 to 87 miles an hour, we're, we're real excited. I mean, and, and, you know, eight, ten years ago, I mean, you know, if you weren't throwing that, it was almost, well, you know, that's a kid that we might, he's a second-line kid. Then, when pitchers are signed into professional baseball, once, where they were expected to slowly win their way to the big leagues, today, they are rushed. We always thought that the guys that we signed out of high school should get about 80 to 90 starts in the minor leagues, maybe college guys about 50 to 60 starts in the minor leagues, even before we think about them at the major league level. When you have expansion like we've had, there's a lack of uh, player pool. And somebody stands a little above somebody, they move them very rapidly. They don't gain the experience they really need. So they're learning on the job. And when you learn on the job against uh, qualified major league hitters, it's going to be a tough lesson for a while. There's guys in the major leagues that, that, that don't have a, a pitching background. Instead of building up their arm, they're bridled with pitch counts, satisfied with five inning outings. Then in the majors, every time we look up, some blast miner or Joe Baver is trying to get crucial outs in the seventh or eighth inning. Go back to 73 again. Some 27 pitchers completed between 10 and 29 games. The only pitcher currently on a pace for double figures this season is Pavlik, who has six. The agents have a, have a problem in this because uh, they don't want their young kid to get hurt. And they think it's better for him if he only throws 115 pitches per night. Well, you can't pitch nine innings with 115 pitches unless you're Catfish Hunter. Not only are the lower minors victims of what Boston Globe columnist Bob Ryan calls creeping LaRussaism, but in many cases, all the way back to the colleges, the best arms are immediately converted into three out relievers. The power arms now, some of them have gone to the bullpen, um, and they're not developed as starters, or maybe they just weren't as successful as starters, and, and it's become such a uh, specialized job. You know, we have set up guys that are some of the best, best arms in baseball. But all those runs and those earned run averages aren't just the fault of pitchers. The weight room has helped the hitter a lot more than it's helped the pitcher. Hershiser points out that hitters like Brady Anderson and Jeff Bagwell can diligently use the weight room to add bat speed and increase the size of their weapons. Many years ago, hitters never studied video, but now hitters like Frank Thomas, Albert Bell, and Barry Bonds are better educated, trained, and conditioned than any previous generation of hitters. Pitching is not able to keep up with uh with the players, the physical size of the players and the physical attributes of the players. It's just, it's just spread too thin. Carl, we were with Catfish Hunter on Sunday night. 1975, he made 40 starts, and in those 40 starts, the only innings he didn't complete were 18 total for the whole season. He was in a Legion game the other night. The kid walked off the mound with a 7-0 lead because he had thrown 80 pitches. Said, and said, I'm done. I've had enough. We're joined now by Harold Reynolds. You spent Monday with most of the power hitters in the game. What do they think about the state of pitching? Almost per man, they said the biggest thing is the pitchers leaving the ball in the strike zone, right in the sweet spot around the belly, and they're killing the ball. And it's obvious. That's a problem. Well, as Peter pointed out, they talk about the weight room. How much has it changed from when you started to what the guys are doing now? Well, I think the biggest thing was when Lance Johnson and Brian Downing, all of a sudden they came back and they were average hitters and they had a lot of bulk and a lot of power. Today I'm walking around in the, in the locker room, these guys are monsters. I mean, they're huge. It's changed an awful lot and I think it's changed the whole 
scope of how the game is played. The pitchers, as Oral Hershars has pointed out, Peter, don't necessarily get stronger in the locker room. What can they do to combat this? They can do what the Braves do, throw. I mean, I think that's the biggest problem. Talk about it in the piece. Guys are not going out and throwing a lot on the side. They're not throwing in between. They're not throwing as kids. They haven't built up their arms, and that is a combination of not only velocity, but command and feel of the strike zone and being able to throw your fastball on either side of the plate. All right, stay tuned to ESPN all day on Tuesday. We will have complete coverage of the 67th All-Star Game from Philadelphia, including post-game coverage. For Harold Reynolds and Peter Gammons, I'm Carl Radish. Sports Center will continue right after this. All-Star Report is brought to you by Michelin X1 because so much is riding on your tires. Harold ordained. <laughs> Coming up after a surprise no-go in Oslo, can Michael Johnson take stock in Stockholm and start up a new winning streak in the 200 meters? That's next. This is Sports Center. Introducing the Michelin X1 with a six-year unlimited mileage tread life warranty. It has better wet traction than any rain tire, plus Michelin control in any driving condition. Because you don't just cover a lot of miles, you cover a lot of weather. This is it, where brand new Miller beer begins. Where the hops grow that give new Miller beer its flavor. Because new Miller beer is brewed a totally new way, straight from the heart of the hops, for flavor unlike any other beer. Big flavor that goes down easy. We think so much of this new beer, we're just calling it who we are. Miller, brand new Miller beer. Reach for what's out there. has the highest ground clearance in its class. But more importantly, 1996's pickup truck of the year comes with 190 horses, all with big chips on their shoulders. Toyota Tacoma. You simply can't buy a more powerful compact truck. How do you keep track of everything that happens in the world of motor racing? Drive with us. RPM Tonight, the ultimate wrap-up of the day that was in the world of motor racing. Monday through Friday at 7 and Sunday at 8, only on ESPN2. Pleasure. It's a special Sports Center Olympic preview, July 16th. Join our team, Jack Edwards, Robin Roberts, and Steve Cyphers. Three hours, starting at 7.30 Eastern, July 16th, right here on the original. And at the DN Gallon Grand Prix in Stockholm, the run DNG, Michael Johnson's last 200-meter run before the Olympics, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trinidad's Ito Bolden, and Johnson's in lane four. Down the stretch they come. He's back in speed. Johnson's time will be 18, I'm going to say 19.77. Got that one right. Michael Johnson, his 21 event winning streak in the 200 stopped last Friday in Norway. Oslo, hello. Wins this one handily. John Drummond, Ramon Clay, and Kevin Little of the U.S. placing 3, 4, and 5. But Ito had another shot against Drummond and Dennis Mitchell in the 100 meters. Dennis. Bolden in lane three from screen right will just edge John Drummond in 10.07. Got that one right. Bolden by .02 over Drummond. Bailey right there third. Dennis Mitchell an unhappy and disappointing fifth. Still to come on the show and for cover, it's Home Run Derby. Keith will analyze the number of homers hit during the first half of the season. It's breakdown time next. Question, how many companies give you cellular, paging, email, and internet all working together? Hint, you can count them on one finger. MCI One, life just got simpler. Morissette. The 
the MasterCard Masters of Music concert for their business trust. Coming soon. HBO. Smashing. So tell me, do you think it makes more sense to get all this stuff from a bunch of different companies? Or from one company, on one bill, in one box? That's what I thought. MCI won. Life just got simpler. Let's talk hockey. Toronto Maple Leafs made two moves Monday. They re-signed unrestricted free agent Nick Kiprios. The left winger came over from the Rangers. Back in February, the Leafs signed another left winger, unrestricted free agent Scott Pearson. He scored four goals in 27 games with the Sabres last season while spending some time in Rochester, the AHL. And Keith has reason to renew his season tickets. The Whalers have re-signed right winger Kevin Deneen, the second all-time man on the Whalers games played list. Points, scored points, and all those things. There have been 2,719 home runs hit in this baseball season, and yes, we've shown you virtually every one of them. In a sense, it was impossible even in the dinger-mad days of the 1930s. The home run is overtaking baseball the way the slam dunk is overtaking basketball. But even though you and I intrinsically know there have been a frightening number of homers this year, in our breakdown segment, we're going to give you the hard and fast numbers to confirm that even your worst guesses are unbelievably conservative. 1996 has become synonymous with the home run or whatever you want to call it. In any language, the homer, the tater, baseball special moment, gun, hurt me, spank me, Jumanji, Yahtzee, aloha means goodbye, it's deep, and I don't think it's playable. You got the idea yet? He hit the ball real hard, and he's hitting it at an alarming rate. 97.1 homers per team, 2,719 big league dingers so far this season. You said it, pal. 20 home runs has long been the benchmark for a good slugging season. 30 players have already slugged at least that many so far. The surprising leader is Brady Anderson with 30. And using the dreaded projected stats, 42 other players are on pace to belt at least 30. Well above the record, 28 players with 30 plus, set back in 1987. In 1961, a record eight guys had 40 or more. That mark could be shattered this year. Right now, 24 players are still on that pace. And consider Mark McGuire. Last season, he set a record with a homer every 8.1 at bats, beating the Babes' 1920 mark of one every eight and a half at bats. This season, the former Bash brother has bashed 28, brother, in just 211 at bats. That's a long ball every seven and a half at bats. That would be another record bettering the old root mark by a full at bat. McGuire's 28, the large piece of Oakland's Major League High 137 ding-dongs, the M's and O's are right behind with 134 team home runs. All three teams on track to beat the 61 Yanks and their record 240 in the year of Maris and Mantle. By the way, each home run has a pitcher on the other end, and this season the Tigers staff has seen 141 offerings quickly deposited out of the yard. Again, a pace to break another record when the Orioles pitchers served up 226 in the year of our ding-dong 1987. Career highs, too, are falling as fast as the balls are flying. Brady is nine over his career best. The Red Sox once traded him because they didn't think he'd be a slugger. Todd Hundley has seven more than his previous best. Henry Rodriguez has shattered his previous mark by 17. Then there are the unbelievable stories of Rex Hudler and Kevin Elster. Rex had averaged three and a half homers per season over his 10-year career. He didn't even hit them in Japan. He has 11 this year. And Elster has a career-high 12. His only other double-digit mark was 10, set back in 1989. Through it all, pity these guys. Ray Ordonez, Marvin Bernard, Joe Girardi, Biff Roberts, and Mike Kingery. A combined 1,127 at-bats, and they have yet to go deep this season. But there is plenty of time remaining. Those of you who don't like numbers, here's some more numbers. The two-teammate homer record does not appear to be in jeopardy. The current rate of bombardment, Brady and Raffi and Moe and Jose would total 99 homers per combo, 16 shy of what Maris and Mantle did in 61. Thank goodness for small favors. Breakdown is brought to you by McDonald's. Play when the U.S. wins, you win game. Starting Sunday, July 14th.
Our goal is to go through a sports center without showing you a home run. So to come on the show, the plays, actually not just the plays, David Letterman and the plays, and the top ten list, and Keith and I. All right, Letterman and the plays. So you think you're ready for the pros? Think you're good enough? Fast enough? Are you kidding? Man enough? Ever had an arse Oh, no. Stay in school, kid. McDonald's Arch Deluxe. It's the burger with the grown-up taste. Well, if my check is $100, I get back $20. If my check is $300, I get back $60. If it's $600, I get back $120. Introducing a special invitation from Dining a la Carte. A two-month trial membership for free. Dining a la Carte is earning extra money. Just for eating out. Dining a la Carte works with your credit cards. There are no embarrassing coupons and no restaurant blackout periods. I love the amount of money that I've saved with Dining a la Carte. I've saved well over $1,000. Just dine at participating restaurants. In about 30 days, you'll receive a rebate check that equals 20% of your total restaurant charges, including tax and tips. Dining a la Carte is a good thing for people who like to go out for dinners and like to save money. And here's your special invitation. Call right now and get a two-month trial membership for free. Up in heaven. Am I a fan of the senior tour? Absolutely. Chi Chi, Raymond, Murph. How can you not love those guys? Of course, being God, I love everyone. But answering prayers, forgiving sins, it must be hard to catch every event. Oh, not when you're all seeing it, isn't Plus, if I'm really strapped for time, I'll just rain an event out and watch it the following year. Any suggestions on uh, ESPN's coverage? Fewer blimp shots. I'm getting tired of watching things from above. Now something special. The baseball plays of the first half is hosted for us by David Letterman. So taking a page from our Sunday night show, among those you won't be seeing, the NFL's Leon Lett, Dodgers physician Dr. Michael Bud Melman, and of course Racing's Dan and or Hal Gurney. And you also won't be seeing the Cardinals' Danny. Please don't call me Paul Schaefer. Here's Dave's top ten list. Ladies and gentlemen, here in my right hand, I have a copy of tonight's top ten list. Let's go turn on this <laughs> Top 10 highlights of the first half of the baseball season. Top 10 highlights of the first half of the 1996 baseball season. Are you having a nice time at your gala? <laughs> Top 10 highlights, first half of the baseball season. Number 10, uh, Gal Ripton Jr. skips a game to catch a really good episode of Melrose Place. Number 9, instead of first ball, President Clinton throws out a half-eaten Arch Deluxe. Number 8. Detroit Tigers promotion, first nine fans to arrive at ballpark, get to start. <laughs> Number seven, league sets new record in groin pulls. Number six, cameras catch Ted Turner and Jane Fonda joining the Skybox Club, if you know what I mean. Number five, Steve Howe picks a runner off first base with his 357 Magnum. Number four, Hillary Clinton uh, contacts the ghost of Babe Ruth who asks for more hot dogs. Number three, Dennis Rodman works a White Sox game as a ball girl. Number two, Albert Bell gets angry with himself for being suspended and punches himself out. And the number one highlight of the first half of the baseball season, Yankees threaten to move, Mets threaten to play.
throws a swing and a high, towering shot. Hit it for the upper deck. No, did it hit the roof? It gone. is gone over the roof. And that ball is melted. That may be in the upper deck. Fly away, way over the hard rock to fame. There's a lot you can see this, this summer out of this kid. He's a uh, quality infielder. Lane being waved around third. Here's the relay filled by Ordonez from his knees, and he got him at the plate. He's unbelievable. I don't know what to say. And a smash to short. Oh, a diving stop by the shortstop. Ordonez third to first. Double play. Double play. Ordonez, a magnificent backhand diving stop. Nothing surprises me with Ray. Uh, Ray Ray can play. Coming on. Are they going to mess it up? No. A diving catch by Ray Ordonez. Ray Ordonez makes a marvelous diving catch. Are you having a nice time at your gala? Ricky going to the wall, trying to time it. And made the catch. Oh, my. What a play by what? Junior. Rondell White. Got it. What a tremendous catch, but he's got to be hurt. Coburn on the curveball. Caminetti. Big time play. Throws from his door. Oh. Al Leiter is just one strike away, maybe one pitch away, and here it comes. Swing and a miss! He did it! A no-hitter! The two up. A high step up! He's gonna do it! And shortstop Jeter! Jeter on the outfield grass! Makes the catch! The Yankees win! The Yankees win! And Derek Gooden catches a no-hitter! thought about it. What would happen if you weren't here? Where would the money come from to take care of your family, their home, their education, their future? People with life insurance have the answer. Life insurance. It isn't for the people who die. It's for the people who live. My job is to complete the awarding of the Medal of Honor for Captain Karen Walton. I intend to do it. On July 12th, discover the power of courage. Captain Walden saved our lives. Courage Under Fire is a masterpiece. The first true blue Oscar contender of the year. Denzel Washington, Meg Ryan, Courage Under Fire. I'm gonna find out the truth, I guarantee you that. Rated R, Friday, only in theaters. July for 600 years, the world finds out who's faster than a speeding bull and who's not. The Running of the Bulls, live from Pamplona, Spain, Friday night at 1.30 a.m., only on ESPN2. All-star festivities continue. It's the celebrity softball game. That's Meatloaf on the hill. First battery faced, Hall of Famer Lou Brock. And even the ball was juiced in celebrity softball games. Lou has left the yard. So that's Meatloaf meeting Lou Brock, and that's Meet the Press, Tim Russert. Senator Arlen Specter looking for a single or a single bullet theory. And Abe Lincoln has a few words for Arlen. Jerry Stackhouse against Kent DeColvey in the win. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. ESPN's Harold Reynolds, before he left, told Keith and I he would take one out of the yard. Maybe in his backyard tomorrow, but not today. Great Arlen Specter. Want to fight a big old jolly fat guy? Coming back. No! Introducing four extraordinary new meals at Taco Bell. The extreme value combos. At just $1.99 each, some people would say we're giving away the store. Actually, we are. Right now, you can win your own Taco Bell store. Just come in for the new $1.99 Extreme Value Combos and enter to win your very own Taco Bell. You hungry? I could eat. Well, then I'll pull over. <laughs> There's nothing ordinary about it. Taco Bell. 
Take strokes off your game, guaranteed. Jack Nicholas's personal technique that helps straighten slices. Take strokes off your game, guaranteed. Dave Peltz's revolutionary technique that has top pros putting better. Let Golf Magazine show you how to shoot lower, play better, or you don't pay. That's the Golf Magazine guarantee. Call now for your free issue of Golf Magazine. If you decide to subscribe, get 11 more issues, 12 in all, for just $16.97. Plus, get your free Golf Magazine umbrella. Call now. Fluff's dependable. He knows what to expect from Fluff. Every no Fluff surprises. knows Peter inside and out, his emotions, his his game. If you walked up to Fluff and said, what's Peter going to hit in this situation, he could tell you what club he's going to hit. No surprises. Fluff's been there forever. Now. Thank you, Keith. The American League starters for Tuesday night. Roberto Alomar is in the lineup, but listed as questionable with a sprained finger. If he can't go, Chuck Knobloch will get the nod. Brady Anderson, who had never hit more than 21 home runs in a season before, will bat eighth. He has more home runs than Boggs, Rodriguez, and Lofton combined. Charles Nagy, the first Cleveland pitcher to start the All-Star Game since Gaylord Perry in 1974. Arguing that Tony Gwynn's injured and his only true leadoff hitter is Lance Johnson. Bobby Cox chose to start him in center, followed by Barry Larkin. Bonds third, McGriff cleanup. He's had one homer in 17 days. Piazza fifth, Bichette sixth, Chipper Jones in for Matt Williams seventh, Biggio eighth, and the pitcher Smoltz is night. We've got you covered Tuesday. Strike up the band, Sports Center, 6.30 Eastern. All the pregame festivities from Philadelphia. Then the 11 o'clock Sports Center doing what only they can do. Full coverage, followed by baseball tonight at midnight Eastern. And Dan and I will wrap up our last edition of the big show before the All-Star Game in just a moment. I want to show you what I'm going to get my husband for his birthday. Oh, we got some clothes here. It's going to be one of these really, really nice Shakespeare rods. Kathy Lee, for instance. Oh, wow. I've been having my eye on this. And then I'm going to get one of these really, really great reels. Oh, I would look good in this. Oh, wow. I mean, hey. You don't think he's watching, do you? My kids, they love the way I dress. They always give me compliments like, Mom, you look nice. I, I, actually, I can't cast it. Natural ability only takes you so far. The right equipment counts for a lot. That's why I like Perp Plus. It gets the job done right. Cleans and conditions in one step. No fuss. Eventually, we all cross the finish. Winners just find a better way to get there. I love this. <laughs> who should I call? Anybody who enjoys saving. My mother's quite thrifty. Dial 1-800-COLLECT, the number you're calling, and say your name. Ma, I saved up to 44% almost all by myself. 1-800-COLLECT. Learn it, use it, save up to 44%. Don't make you feel good to be alive. Huh? Sorry, I, I was kind of hit close to home. Oh, Major League Soccer's find out the way to get into the publicity thing. Suspend guys. The Revolution star Alexi Lala suspended for a game. Oh, got a guy, a penalty from the guy in the bad shirt. He threw the ball and it kicked the ball into the crowd after a fan or a photographer kicked it back. One game. Bye. Roller Hockey picked a pretty good night to hold their All-Star game. We needed highlights. Rob Laurie with the splits and the glove save. He's leading 3-2. Hugo Belanger to Tony Sabo. He had the hat trick in the first quarter. 4-2 East. The West took over. Kim Mayer, one-timer. Roller Hockey term. Beats Elaine Morissette. That jagged little pill. 8-6 West. Kim Mayer, another chance. Morissette, two big saves. Isn't it ironic? 22 saves for Morissette halftime festivities, RHI style for those who are hip. Third quarter tied at eight. Nick Vitucci, great glove save. Still third quarter. Kim Mayer, slapper, beats Vitucci. 9 8 West. Fourth quarter. Uh, he's down 12 10. Tony Sabo, you can't stop him. You can't even contain him. He's down 12 11. Last minute of play. Who do you go to? Tony Sabo and Fuego. He had six goals, 12 12 tie. Joe Cook just scored for the West. 14-12. Oh, my goodness. Relax. <sighs> Out of breath. Tony Sabo, six goals. He's the all-time leading scorer in RHI history. Oh, that's a lot of time <laughs> to cover. That's, that dates back to... Keith and I return. I don't know what we're going to do when we come back. But we're told we do have to come back. Fortune. Basketball fans, you can't beat this. Count it. The 
Chicago Bulls are the best ever. Enjoy all the record-breaking excitement in this thrill-packed video. The Chicago Bulls 1996 NBA Champions plus this limited edition SI Commemorative. Both are free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Your free video lets you run with the Bulls as they rewrite the record books with a flourish and style all their own. Plus, this leather-bound, gold-embossed, individually numbered SI Collector's Edition is a championship memento you'll treasure forever. Get this exclusive Bulls Collector's Package free when you order 54 issues of SI for only $1.48 an issue. Save over 55% off the cover price. Use your credit card. Call now to get the unbeatable Bulls Championship Pack free from SI. A sports experience like no other. Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Behind these doors are two people very much alike. Both graduated from college and started their careers at the same time, filled with ambitious dreams about the future. But as you'll see, there is a difference. It isn't intelligence or talent or dedication. It isn't that one person wants success and the other doesn't. The difference lies in what each knows and how each makes use of that knowledge. And that's the purpose of the Wall Street Journal. It gives you knowledge. Knowledge you can use to get ahead. The Wall Street Journal keeps you on the cutting edge with news and insights that can affect you personally and professionally. Subscribe now and have the journal delivered to your home or office. Now, with your paid 10-week subscription, you'll also receive our gift of two weeks free. That's 12 weeks of the journal for just 65 cents a day. Satisfaction guaranteed. Call now, 800-544-1000. That's 800-544-1000 for the Wall Street Journal. Up in heaven. Am I a fan of the senior tour? Absolutely. Chi-Chi, Raymond, Murph. How can you not love those guys? Of course, being God, I love everyone. But answering prayers, forgiving sins, it must be hard to catch every event. Oh, not when you're all seeing it, isn't Plus, if I'm really strapped for time, I'll just rain an event out and watch it the following year. Any suggestions on uh, ESPN's coverage? Fewer blimp shots. I'm getting tired of watching things from above. Sports Center is brought to you by Michelin X1 because so much is riding on your tires. The roller hockey all-star game is over. Joe Cook and the West team win. Cook had a hat trick, Tony Sabo, six goals. Each player on the winning team got $500. George Foreman, retired from boxing for low these 15 months, tells the New York Times, quote, I probably will fight again. He doesn't know who, he says, but he thinks it'll be in September in Oregon. So if you're in the neighborhood, <laughs> that's the thought. Coming up next, not only cycling, you get weather as well. It's the Tour de France. What stage is this? Uh, 206. Um, Ninth stage. Yeah. And we, the Arlen Specter. Arlen Specter, you want to explain it? He was the, the counsel to the Warren Commission who invented or, or seized upon the idea of the single bullet theory to explain the Kennedy assassination and the injury to John Connolly. So it was like a sing... It was... See, you confused everybody. Informational and entertaining. This half of the show. Neither. For Keith, I'm Dan. Tours next. Bye. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Welcome to Sestriere, Italy, for the world downhill skiing. That's not the right script. Sestriere, site of the Stage 9 finish line in the 96 Tour de France. Sorry, but today you can't tell if it's July or January. The calendar claims it's the 8th of July, but today the tour woke up in a snowstorm. It's going to be another dramatic day. Hello, everyone. I'm Adrian Karsten, welcoming you to ESPN's coverage of the 1996 Tour de France presented by Michelin. Well, today the weather will play a part in the 96 Tour de France. Excuse me if that sounds at all rehearsed, though. I've only been saying it for the last 10 days. Today, though, it's pretty serious stuff. In a historic decision, the tour directors decided to eliminate the first two mountain climbs from today's stage for two reasons. First of all, there's a blizzard on the first mountain, 60 mile per hour winds on the second. 
But just because we've eliminated now 90 miles from today's race, don't think for a moment that that means an easier ride for these guys. What this decision may probably do is to condense all of this tension the riders are feeling after the first Alpine weekend and force them, accelerate them up the final climb. All of this coming on a day when Alex Zula claims, yes, the action may become violent, the tour is no way over, and when Miguel Indurain says, I'm not out of this yet. But for the first time in five years, Indurain is not in yellow the day after the first individual time trial. This morning, just trying to stay warm. But the Danes love this stuff. Just give Big Bjarne Reese a stocking cap, some mittens, all new cycling fashion look, second overall. Tony Rominger in fourth, feeling nice and cozy. We can't remember the last time we saw the Peloton roll out of town this way, with heaters and defrosters on full blast. The course is going to be shortened, but by how much, we don't know. Three hundred feet up the Col de Lizarraga.